Good. So you can hear me good. Nice, nice. So now we're gonna do the test for 1H. Say something. Hello, hello! I am 1H. You are quite loud mm. on my end, so I think it will be loud for people as well. Uh, right. Oh, the, the music, music is, is a little bit too loud, yeah? Okay. I'm gonna turn on, turn off the music a little bit. Turn down. I'm turning down so. my volume a little bit. I might have to just do this. Oh, the input is down to like 50%. Uh-huh. I'm gonna... I'm loud. <laughs> you are a loud boy. This is crazy because the gain on my mic is like down to the bottom. So you probably just have a good mic, you know? It's like... I just have a really good mic? I mean... A very good mic. Uh, all right, I'm gonna turn glide down a little bit more. How about now? Is it still very loud? Hello, hello. Is the music fine now? Am, am I still like extremely loud or? <laughs> now you're fine. Okay, cool. I think you're fine. Uh, I'm and, down. And, and we also have one of our Discord mods with us today. We've got TNT Dragon. He's gonna be watching over the chat and he's gonna be also like picking out some questions so we can answer when we play and stuff like this. So you can say something as well. You can say hello. <laughs> yeah, I'll be quiet, but I'm here in the background. <laughs> He's the watcher. He like watches everything, and he'll be keeping. Watcher on the wall. He, he's the watcher on the watch on his wall. <laughs> so he's just gonna give people. I think we Boy. can. Wa yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll wait. Already like... have 30, 39, 38 viewers. Nice. We're gonna, Welcome we're gonna to all of you. Give people like three minutes to join, and then if we we have more people join, great. If not, we'll just carry on. So basically, yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna do a little. Uh, oh, I'm gonna answer some questions now. This isn't the fun game for Spyro. Yeah, I mean it's inspired by Spyro, obviously, as you can see. You play as an orange dragon, but it's not a fun game. It's an original game. It's a uh, proper like standalone title. It's, it's it, it doesn't really have anything to do with Spyro, to be honest, except the fact that you play as a dragon. Um, there might be some hints to Spyro, like obviously some Easter eggs and stuff like this, but yeah, it's hey, uh, references. <laughs> it's quite a yeah, it's it's quite a different game. I mean, you will see when you when we get to the gameplay in a second, but uh, but yeah, it's 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 actually. Totally I would I would game. say I would say yeah that the the gameplay loop is very different from any Spyro game. It's so there much more some, as well. Some, like yeah, it, even even it's... even in the Legend of Spyro, like I played just the first game, uh, I, I didn't even make it till the end at the moment. At the moment. <laughs> you still you <laughs> still have that one thing you gotta do. It was yeah, quite, gotta, quite, quite a painful point. experience, but uh, but yeah, like Glide is already so much more. So even if you compare Glide to Legend of Spyro, Glide already has a lot more, like in combat and in terms of you know the fiddlety of the you know everything is just it's, it's different. It's it's more like next-gen kind of Legend of Spyro, I guess. It's what what I think, you know, Spyro 4 could be, and I wouldn't be surprised if they actually do this. Uh, and they have it similar to Glide, like semi-open world with different elements and stuff. But, I would still know, be surprised if they have that, that, that many elements. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I don't think there will be that many, so... You know, it's gonna be a really, really good... What is the story about? I mean, you will have to play the demo to get an idea. Um, obviously, can't really spoil stuff. The dragon's you... good. Zombies bad. Yeah, yeah, and then, and then <laughs> yeah. I mean, you'll you'll see. So, I think we're gonna start in like one minute. We have forty-four people. I don't know if it's fine, if if it's accurate on my end or not. Do we have more than forty-four? Uh, it also says 44 here, so... Okay, cool. Yeah, so you got 46, nice. So you got 46. Mm. I think I did post on Twitter, didn't I? That we are live now. So, 48, nice. So it's growing slightly. One more minute and then I will start. So, I'm just gonna tell you about what we're gonna do. So, I will... Um, play a little bit of the actual demo level so you can get an idea of how the game works and how it looks where you start you know how the kind of uh, 
Yeah, you can share the stream everywhere. I mean, if you have anyone, like any other Discord servers or something where they allow, uh, you know, promotions, stuff like this, just, yeah, share the stream everywhere, like, literally, because the more people see the game, and if the more, you know, the more people get interested in the game, then we'll be able to actually, you know, get more... The, fur more the further we... we further we can go basically yeah. yeah and the bigger the support you know it's like if you if you want to see this game succeed it's up to you like and up to other people to actually support the project and stuff like this so when the time comes and when the demo is out you'll be able to play the demo for free but then after the demo is out there will be Kickstarter which will probably determine you know how big the actual game is gonna be and stuff like this the demo is already quite big. This could easily be sold because it's probably gonna take longer to complete than some other games on Steam. But because <laughs> whoops, I, I mean I pro <laughs> yeah we kind of went overboard I think. But because uh, this is something that you know I promised it's, since it's the beginning a, it's gonna be free. It, it, it's it a passion be project. Yeah. So uh, we we went ham with uh, <laughs> the the I mean, content because that can we got be so much this, we got, because we got so much time we can do everything. <laughs> compared to like yeah. AAA, we're not time constrained at the moment, so, you know, we'll see. Anyway, so, what I'm gonna do, I will jump into the demo level, and we'll see what changed since the last time and stuff like this. Mm. We're gonna also see the, the, the first little opening cutscene. Ooh. It's been a while since I saw that, and that was I'm like, trying. work in I progress, can't fly so. like you. I could see the yes, we are considering uh, crowdfunding via Kickstarter. <sighs> that was close. I do not think we are going back this way anytime soon. I like how it turned out. Sheesh, we really did provoke that guy, didn't we? Maybe you should have taken his advice to not touch his stuff. Hmm, true. What is this place? A forest? Here? Hmm. We must have traveled underground further than I expected. It's a nice sudden change of scenery, though, is it not? It sure is. It's also strangely calm here. No corruption, no undead roaming. Let us not get too comfortable, Blythe. We should investigate the area. Gonna keep my guard up, just in case. Let's go! Let's go, boys and girls. Well, uh, I see, yeah, the talking animation, so at the moment we we don't really have, um, I mean the whole, so the thing with Glide, Skeleton and the Rig is that it will have to be reworked for the full game because now it's kind of like, it's working, but you know, it's, it's quite hard to work with in terms of how Skeleton is made and stuff like this. So we will have hmm. to actually rework the whole rig and reanimate Glide, and we will also be looking into um, having like proper like lip sync and stuff like this. Uh, so at the moment oh, yeah. it's just a animation, so we will be out of sync. But uh, there we go. So we are here. How is the stream, by the way? Is it smooth? Is it like 60 FPS, or you know, is it quite laggy? Is there no artifacts happening, stuff like this? Looks good on my end, at least. It's a l slightly bit blurry, but it's, I think it's just um, the bit rate. Because but... I don't know if I should reduce the bit rate, maybe, or something. But if it looks good, it looks good. I would say that it looks really good for a stream. Cool. Yeah, I don't know if like you can see, HP. but look at this. So this is one of the things that I'm really happy with. So this is our Giga Chad AAA quality grass now. Look, I'm walking and it actually bends <laughs> down, yeah? And then it bends down. And look, it actually slowly stands up. Spyro doesn't have this. Bike glide now. <laughs> 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 so we actually got this. Uh, Wait, we, we still. Grass, which is like wow. We can still, we what? burn the grass though? <laughs> uh, with some sir, with some abilities, it's not like yeah. The, it was very very old. The, the, that that system and it was just a big pain. Uh, we, we we're hopefully gonna fix it so yeah. it, it it works well, look and at looks this clean. Grass, though. Oh my yeah. god, the grass so now. Cool. Oh my god, look, I can make it super still short good. here. And then look, and then it's like, and then it's like, it slowly grows back up, it stands up, and it's like, yay, nice and fluffy, <laughs> amazing. Uh, cool. So, uh, let's get this boar, I guess. Yeah, show them some gameplay. Yay. 
Aim, so play. Game when you play. when you when you kill animals like boars, they actually drop meat. Uh, so if you are hungry and if you are low on health, you can actually eat that meat, uh, and it will restore some health. Or if you're vegetarian, we also have some. Uh, uh, options for you as well in forms of dragon fruits, which you will see in a <laughs> second. Uh, At the vegetarian dragon. So, uh, we got some obviously breakable objects, so you'll be able to destroy crates and barrels to pick up crystals. Um, these tablets, you can actually interact with those. They, they are kind of like a tutorial, so it will tell you, um, you know, what to press to do what. So, for example, this one is just telling me how to walk around and sprint, stuff like this. But let's keep going because I already know how to play. So, I'm just gonna hmm. this, do that. Use the left analog stick to walk. Look, we got a little bird flying. Spyro doesn't have birds. <laughs> Bye, Glacier. <Glenn. laughs> <laughs> this is gonna Actually, do think Spyro has birds, but I'm but not sure. Are they, they actually they can, flying? Yeah. Look at this. Look. Do they? <laughs> oh, and he's actually. Look, he's actually standing in the air as well. Spyro doesn't have this. Okay, and he's flying. <laughs> he's flying back now. But yeah, here we go, we got, got an enemy. You can go into photo mode and I can actually snap the picture of the super low poly bird. Look at this. Bam! Screenshot captured. So I got the picture right. of that bird now. Um. Oh, you didn't miss 30 minutes. We actually been setting the stream up for like 20 minutes anyway. Oh look, there's a little bunny here. <laughs> what should we do with him? Put one if we should eat the bunny. There's one in the chat. One in the chat if you want to eat. eat free. <laughs> or do we leave him? Look look how cute he is. Just running around. They, I remember someone on Discord being like, they can't wait to eat rabbits in Glide <laughs> or something. <laughs> like that is the sole reason that that, uh, that person was going to get the game. <laughs> oh, I, see, I see a lot of ones. There's some twos as well. All right, we'll eat this one, but then we will not. We won't eat other ones. No. Rip. You were tasty. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So Rest in pepperonis, poor little bunny. Yeah, and obviously, as you can see in the bottom right corner, I got some ab special abilities. So when I press the buttons, I do things. So we've got our regular combo abilities and stuff like this. I think there might be a little bit of delay on stream. I don't know. Where am I? Uh, am I? Am I fighting zombies now, or, or not yet? For for me, there's a delay because I'm seeing the stream. But uh, uh, do you think I could join like on Parsec? Uh, I don't know if you will like take the bandwidth, you know. So maybe just true. Play, like, yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll live with the delay. I think there's like a six second delay between what you say and when it appears on the stream itself. Yeah, so I think it, it matches fine with what you're seeing, but uh, is my voice it's, it's is my the... voice actually um, synced with the stream, or is it like do I talk about the rabbit and the rabbit is already dead? Like after. I don't think. Wait. I think it seems to be quite accurate, so it should be fine. It it should be accurate on your end. It's yeah. it's only for me because I'm yeah. Because it takes time for you to send the the data from the stream, like the the video. Oh, look, and the, there we go. The there's audio. there's some vegan options. So you got some dragon fruits that you can actually drop from the tree, and you can eat them. These will never get boring. And the glide loves his dragon fruits. At the moment. But oh at the yes. Moment he's not hungry, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I think you did you, you did eat one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think uh, the zombie yes, hit me. Dragon fruits. <laughs> Alright, so, we can obviously interact with different things, so this is... Did I hide anything in the demo? I mean, uh, um, I guess it depends <laughs> what. <laughs> There's, there is some things that are hidden. Will you find them? We'll see. There is some things that I wonder if people will find, or, if, you know, but we'll see. Uh, <laughs> Newsflash, Glide has things. Yes, uh, <laughs> Glide has hidden things. We've got the dialogue system so you can talk with dragons and, and interact with them. This one hopes he will get some proper dialogue one day. And this so, certainly you know, is something Glide you can wish for. I'm very sure that you know, we'll be working on it. But then the dragon has been hearing this for like two years. So, you know, <laughs> eventually he's gonna get yeah. his dialogue. So, it should be fine. Uh, poor so dragon. He, obviously, he's all placeholder at the moment, yeah, so... He just really wants some dialogue. 
And that's our checkpoint. So those big crystal dragon fruit trees, they're actually your checkpoint. So if you want to save your progress, you can lay down under the tree. You can have a nap and you can save the game, which is quite cool. There we go. This, this guy is the lightning dragon. I mean, same dialogue, but we can get some up close shots of this dragon. Uh, yeah, I actually seen the question about the Legend of Spyro. Uh, I haven't played Legends of Spyro. 1H got me to play the first game for a little bit, but I haven't actually completed it because it was just... I don't know, gameplay was a bit terrible, but... Uh, also, changing time using checkpoints. Uh, yes, this is something I thought about, so there might be an option like this. My FPS is a little bit low because of the stream, I guess, so it's dropping to like 47, but... Uh, oh, look at this! We also have sand! Spyro doesn't have sand. <laughs> Bike glide now. <laughs> so we've got the sand that actually deforms, which is quite cool as well. See, look. This is like AAA quality, right? I don't like sand. You can, if you don't like it, and it gets can, everywhere. You can eat it. <laughs> you, if you, you can eat it, and then <laughs> it'll be gone. And we can <laughs> swim. So obviously Glide can swim. At the mo there will be breathing uh, mechanics. At the moment you can uh, swim without any problems because there's no breath meter. But there will be a breath meter. And you will be able to swim without a breath meter uh, or any limits when you reach the water element. You can interact with chests and stuff like this underwater as well. So that's cool. And we got fish. Fish AI. This is like... <laughs> Complicated fish AI. O only Call of Duty has it, as far as I know. So, you know, Glide is the next in line. Okay. <laughs> and we got a little... Truly triple A features in this game. Look at this. So this wolf, yeah? He thought he's hard. I hit him a few times, and now he's running away because he's low health. I can either spur him, or I can finish him off. Shouldn't pick on the dragon, man. It's a very bad idea. Imagine being a wolf and you fight the dragon. Crazy. Kind of, kind of unbalanced matchup there. <laughs> uh, Don't think it's, uh, think it's in the wolf's favor. I think I'm gonna see if I actually I'm gonna kill all those guys. Are you excited for Breath of the Wild too? I haven't played. Breath of the Wild, actually. I don't have Switch or anything like this. So. I only played Majora Mask uh, a long, long time ago. Breath of the Wild is really awesome, man. I know, I know. I've heard it's a really good game <laughs> and stuff like this, but I haven't played it myself, so I don't really like. I'm not excited because I never yes, played uh, this game, so I'm like, good. Mm. Oh, look at this. The time's changing. It's like the day. You know, obviously, we got the dynamic day and night cycle as well, and the weather system. So, there will, it, it could start raining suddenly, or, you know, now, obviously, the day, you know, the sun is kind of going down. So, we're going into evening now. I, I don't think I will be breaking every barrel and stuff like this because uh, I, I could play this for hours like this. Um, I see a small dragon-like thing. Oh, do you mean wing? Wing is a... Uh, also, I think we got the bug. The UI didn't disappear now for with a photo mode for some reason. Ah, uh, uh, right. But uh, this is wing. This is Glide's companion. So it's a spirit. It's a spirit of a dragon that once lived. So the the guardians they basically uh, spirits of deceased dragons. It's quite dark actually. <laughs> oh look, we got some more birds. Bird AI. And there we go, we got a little cutscene showing that we activated this big crystal. So now we can actually interact with it. And we got those beams of light that actually show you where to go if you get lost uh, after activating the crystal. There we go, and there we go, night time. Actually got some evening going on. Which is quite nice. And the music changed as well. I really like the night music. Which is nice. Let's listen to this great Damn, music. it's so awesome to like see the, the whole environment just change depending on which uh, yeah, what time of the day it is. Alright, let's activate this. And 
now we're gonna enter the trial. So here we're gonna unlock our lightning element in this one. So that's the first element you'll be able to get. So you'll have to complete, so for each element you have to complete this gauntlet. So it's quite easy. Uh, I mean at least for me, because I know what I'm doing. But <laughs> You're like a pro at this game. <laughs> it should be hard, it should be manageable by, for everyone. Um, you might, obviously, I see people when they were playtesting this, sometimes they were obviously uh, dying here, they couldn't make it sometimes, but after like two or three tries, they eventually all made it, so it's like, uh, um, Hopefully not too difficult. It is quite dark here because of the night, I guess, so I hope ah. fix that somehow in, the, in this way. As the, the lighting doesn't... Uh, and obviously, as you can see, we have the combo system on the right side of the screen. So when I'm doing a sick move, I'm actually getting some cool combo, ranks. Which is amazing. I love the ranks. Boom. I think he's already dead. <laughs> stop! Yeah. Stop! He's already what dead! Doing? What are you doing? <laughs> there we go. So, I've unlocked my element. Great. This wolf wants to fight me. And I open the door. Cool. Okay. Yeah, we have a lot of questions, by the way. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can uh, read them as, you go, <laughs> as I go. So for, for, for now, I here. think you can do it, and then TNT will take over in the second kind of part. I've, of I've been collecting them in a thread oh, yeah, already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. We can there are some questions. Well. Look at the slides earlier. Of lightning Someone asked if uh, if we're gonna have like a cooking system like in Zelda Breath of the Wild where you collect ingredients and make meals that give you stat boots. Uh, definitely not in the demo. Maybe in the full game we could play with something like this, but yeah, not now. <laughs> Dragon fruit skewer. <laughs> there you go. This is the corruption. So this is the big purple bad thing that you're gonna stay away from most of the time because it's quite dangerous. Whenever you enter the corruption, it actually deals damage over time. So as you can see in the top left, my health is going down. And there will be a lot more enemies here. Uh, there's no enemies, not that many enemies here. But they're also uh, all empowered as well. So as you can see, they all kind of grow larger and they also deal extra damage and stuff like this. So in early game, you, this is something that you kind of avoid until you get some more elements. Oh, and look, it started raining, so we actually have those reflections and everything going on. And they're chasing me now, so I'm gonna see if I can yeah. run away. Better get out of there. I'll save this. Uh, Bequitious uh, asks, do all spirit dragons become guardians? Uh, most of them, yes. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's all of them. I can't remember. I mean, we got like the whole lore thing written about them as well. Um, I don't think we changed anything. I, as far as I am aware, they all do. But there is like a process. So, you know, it's like... Without spoiling stuff, yes, they all become spirits. But, like, they all become guardians. But not all of them might necessarily make it as a guardian in a way. Um, but yeah, you'll find about that more later. And we got some very mm. spooky music here by Techno Cinema as well. Which is yeah. Really cool. I love this truck. Corrupted music. I think I think it's really cool how well it all fits together with different composers as well mm -hmm. on board. <laughs> yeah, we have like three different composers working <laughs> in this game, and it all works well so fine. Which is really, really, really cool. Uh, yeah, you can change back to regular glide. Uh, you just press the L3, like you you, you put your uh, thumbstick down. But at the moment, we still have this glitch going on. Oh, oh, is that is that? Yeah, that's still yeah, a thing. I think, I think if I if I die, it should fix itself. Uh, so let yeah. me just do this. I think maybe it also fixes itself after you uh, you get another element. So I just. Uh, yeah, don't swim in lava. <laughs> Lava's not, unless, not very healthy. Unless you're a fire dragon. <laughs> <laughs> um, another question, will certain elemental attacks have increased effects under certain weather conditions? Asks Ninji. No. Ninji. 
At the moment, no, but, center, but certain elements can actually affect the weather. So, for example, the ice element will allow you to change the weather into a snowstorm, which I'll show you in a second, actually, after I, I go through this. So see, so I can change to regular glide whenever I like. I just hold the left thumbstick down and it changes. Uh, and I can change the light move whenever I like as well. So let me just quickly go through here. Uh, maybe there can be a dragoness for Glider's companion to. Do you mean uh, <laughs> dragoness as as wing, like wings, like the spirit, or? Uh, I think it's like uh, a reference dragon. to like a, a female dragon. Or just there are female dragons in the in the game, yeah. So there are female dragons. And stuff. There are also female uh, spirits, like the guardian spirits. So yeah. Quite cool. Can quite... can you freeze lava? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know why they keep dying in the air for some reason. That's another bug to the list. Yeah, that's that's new. I think it's after the yeah, yeah. falling thing that's currently falling. <laughs> oh yeah, that could. Be... But I think I fixed that. I don't know why it doesn't work here. We'll have to have a look at it later. Uh, yes, will you be able to come back to the previous levels when you're done with the part? Yes, because it's Glide is not a level-based game. It's a semi-open world game, so you're actually going to be able to walk everywhere. It might be... The world structure is kind of like Darksiders. Darksiders 2, actually. So you have yeah. big open world areas, but they're all connected and you can walk to any area whenever you like. Dragon fruits. So you can, yeah, you can just travel everywhere, and there will, there is also a um, fast travel system of sorts, which I will show you as well. But yeah, you'll be able to walk around everywhere. Oh my god, those barrels! They do this every time. Why are they spawning like this? I don't know. I fix it like every day, and it's like still happening. I'll save. Ah, they, yeah, it's spawning the ground. Oh no. Uh, yeah, I mean, you, you, you'll you be able to go pretty much anywhere you want. Some areas will be locked. You need to fulfill... You will need to fulfill some conditions to reach them, like unlock something to open the door, stuff like this. But, uh, you know, it's like... There will be some areas with, like, high level, so quite hard enemies, though. So, I mean, or, like, you know, there will be just a lot more enemies in certain areas that you might not be able to... Uh, to fight until you get stronger. The, the crystals, they are a currency, but they're also... Uh, like in the world, they're also like a power source and stuff like this. Because they also act as catalysts for uh, magic. So you can... so dragons, they can power doors and stuff like this with those crystals. But they're also a currency, right? So you can also spend them on the um, Sounds like they're just really, really useful in general. Yeah. I collect them all. Uh, Boom. And that was fire element. Are there or will there be sporting lead or recurring NPCs? Yes. We've got many NPCs. I mean, we got some characters that are going to show up, show up across multiple uh, events, like in the story, I should say, maybe. Um, look at this. If you're a fire dragon, you can actually swim in lava, which is quite cool, right? Ooh. <laughs> I guess Glide's fired up, huh? <laughs> oh, what happened? Oh, there you go. For some reason, lava works like water, I guess. So that was something I wanted to show you guys as a surprise. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh right, yeah, it's the same kind of logic. Well, I guess. I'm gonna show you yeah. over there yeah, what I exactly mean. So we've got this fiery boy here. But you know what's best for, for fire? It's probably one of my favorite abilities in the game, which is the Meteor. And it feels so good, like when you're holding the controller, because the controller actually vibrates as well, and it just destroys everything. Look at this, I'm gonna put a Meteor, and I'll put my controller on the desk. 
I can't really hear it, I guess, because I'm holding it on my hand. But yeah, I mean, you'll see what I mean when you actually play the game. It feels so nice. You feel the Just like, mm, boom. And obviously, we've got projectile attacks as well, so you can actually shoot fireballs. And we got the breath attacks, so you can hold circle, and you can actually breathe fire, for example, which is quite nice. Raptoron in the chat knows what we're talking about. Meteor go brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Uh, I don't think the size is the matter because like Glide, the demo I think is uh, well, about 5 gig or something like this. So you know, obviously some games on consoles are like 50 gig or Call of Duty is 100 gig, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not another Call of Duty for certain, but uh, yeah. it's mostly just having, you know, these big this areas. <laughs> I, I, I believe in you. Break the shield and then do the ultimate. I need to, what I need to do, I need to time it. Uh, if I fell now, do the ultimate. Yeah. The people will love it. It'll <laughs> probably take a couple tries, but it is doable because I've done it many times. It's just mm. I haven't played for a while. I've been working on the actual game. Oh. That's the oh the wolf is joining in. <laughs> No, I usually when he had a shield, he'll probably survive. Oh no, yeah. Please? Oh no, I missed. Oh! No! Literally last second. Oh my Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> uh, oh well. But as you can see, we got. Yeah, we got some challenges going on. I'm probably not gonna happen <laughs> again because it's, it's taking time, but. Uh, because yes, there's a lot fruit. more things that I want to show. Get some crystals, find some trees, some dragon now. fruits. Uh, what does Glide look like on Toaster Graphics as uh, Crossover Worlds? Ah, uh, let's see. This is low. Hopefully this won't mess up the stream. Because we changed some settings before. And oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, uh, low is really, really low. Like, it literally has no shadows or anything. So it looks like this. Much smoother, but obviously. I mean, it still looks Dragon good, Dragon. but it just has no shadows <laughs> at all. <laughs> also, no foil. foil and, and no so grass. The, the grass is, yeah, the grass is just gone. <laughs> um, but what if I do low? If you do everything on low medium, except medium, uh, medium. medium is already a lot better. Medium is really good. Yeah, medium is really really good considering. You got some more yeah. like shadows, but not more not really accurate shadows. There's much le there's less grass and stuff like this. Um, hey, dragon fruits. And you can see objects popping and stuff like this. So it's like mm, not the best, I guess. I mean, I'm I'm the, I'm mainly uh, using everything on. Uh, epic most of the time like on the best settings possible don't mind the images they're just placeholder high is probably a good way to play um, because it gives you most of the of the stuff that epic does what i tend to do because i shadows are quite costly actually um so i play on epic and i just bring shadows down a notch you can also uh, you know remove the anti-aliasing and stuff you got a lot of lot yeah. more settings and stuff Ray tracing, uh, we haven't really implemented in DLSS, so this will probably be gone when the demo is out, so you won't have those options uh, because it doesn't work. Um, other than that, you know, it actually plays mm. and looks quite nice. It's mainly it's mainly the shadows being on Epic that might be a little heavy, but if you and if you the put lights down and everything, but obviously I'll see if I can optimize the game a lot more. I mean, as you can see in the top right corner, my game at the moment runs. At Hangs about 40, 35 FPS, but that's because I'm streaming, and obviously 1H is also connected and stuff like this to my computer and stuff because we were doing uh, I'm earlier. Are you still connected? Oh, yes. I mean, uh, I'm not at the moment. Oh, okay, you're not. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. So, so I guess it's because of the stream. It's um, probably the stream, yeah. But yeah, we got we got some nighttime going on again. Look at this, and we got this uh, purple beam of doom up here, which. You know, you'll find out about more later, I guess. But what I'm gonna do, I will show you. Yes, I'm gonna fruits. cheat a little now because we already almost do it, did an hour. And now we still got a lot more stuff to do. Sheesh, so, almost an hour already. Almost an hour already. Time flies, right? 
Mm. Certainly. Oh yeah, my computer gets quite hot as well while playing Glide. It's like proper hot. But it hasn't... Uh, nothing got broken yet, like nothing died on me yet, so it's all fine. Uh, so now I, I've cheated a little, I picked up something that really just unlocks everything for me, so I can show you some stuff. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I will show you that, for example, this is the nature element. Hey, dragon fruits! And I can... Uh, nature element is the only element that actually passively heals you, so you're getting healed. Oh, and also I have the armor on, yeah, so normally the armor you'll have to find and pick up. You won't be uh, you won't be unlocking the armor all the armor instantly. There's like five different pieces that you need to find, and each piece gives you different uh, bonus. So for example, it gives you like um, you know it boosts your damage by 10%. It reduces the damage taken and stuff like this. This is the ice element, and then we got the wind, which is quite cool. I'm gonna quick. Actually, I'm gonna show you the fast travel, which I talked uh, talk to you about. So the fast travel yes, system is not actually going to be like an ordinary fast travel system in games, where you just sit by the checkpoint and then you teleport. What I'm planning <laughs> on having in the full game as well is you'll see in a second. I might also use some water slide. In, in water element, you can actually slide. Oh, yeah, and you can go real fast in water, yeah, almost like a dolphin. <laughs> you can do some dolphin diving as well, which is cool. I love this, it's funny because it's like... I made this, I love this game. It's like so fun to run around. This is quite empty because it's not final yet. Ooh. We've got some uh, graphical things going on. These should look huh? different, but basically, you can barely see them. I know why. In some other streams, they worked fine. But basically, these are wind rings. Ah, uh, yeah. So, yeah, so that that happened yeah, for yeah. me as well. When you jump through them, you actually do this. So this is what basically this fast travel is going to be. So you're going to jump into a wind ring and it's going to take you somewhere. So you're going to be able to travel this way. Yeah, fast, you know, like quite the large distance, cover large distances and stuff like that. And there's one of the wind, wind dragons, which is quite nice. Uh, looks like he has the dialogue of a corrupted dragon. Those wind rings are really fun. <laughs> you just go neon. Almost like Super Mario Galaxy. <laughs> I wonder oh, where the oh, I came from. Super Mario Dice. <laughs> what I want is I want to it's get... super, super neat. Oh, those enemies just got knocked out, down and off. I need to get... I, I want to show the ice ultimate, so what I need to do... Uh, I got some issues with grass as well, that's something to know. But yeah, we still... We still have some bugs to fix, but it's yeah. way better now than it was a few months ago. Like, see? So, it's it's stuff like this. Look at this. We have grass, yeah? Grass works fine here. It all looks good. And it deforms and shit like that. And then you go here. Look, I got grass, yeah? The grass is working fine. Oh, actually, it doesn't deform here anymore. But look at this. Look what happens here. The grass suddenly decides to do this, and it like disappears in a square around Glide for some reason. I don't know if you can see this on stream very well, but look at this grass. But it's uh, I, the yeah, I can't, I can't see it. Yeah, well, so it's broken anyway. Yeah, so it's stuff like this. It's stuff like works, and then it suddenly doesn't, and it's like why and how. Uh, also, does Glide go around helping other dragons uh, as side quests? Yes, he does. He's a very nice. Dragon. To activate this. So even though I got wind element unlocked, I'm still gonna do the wind trial because I want to grab some energy. Oh yeah, I <laughs> I know what you're gonna do. Yeah. Gonna do the cool thing. Gonna do the cool thing, which is literally very cool. 
It is literally very cool. Uh, someone is asking, Splotch the cat thing is asking, are you going to be putting any processing on his voice to make it sound more dragonish? Not that, it, not that there's anything wrong with, wrong with the way it is, audio is just no, a feel. I mean, really. I mean, this was something that I wanted in the past. I played around with stuff like this. It just one thing is it like it's hard because to make it sound like like. If you try to post process every voice actor's lines, not enough. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a lot more time consuming <laughs> and stuff like this. With some of the voices, you know, they get distorted more and they need to be processed more and less. And eventually, you start feeling the actor. And some yeah. voice actors, they don't like that as well. Because obviously, this is like their work or something. And, and they, 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 they're using their voice. But in the game, uh, but then event, but then you end up like well, it was the same in Legend of Spiral, wasn't it? Yeah, like there, someone... Yes, with with uh, with Malifor. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Funny enough, yeah. one letter away from your name. <laughs> so you so you literally had what was it? Who was it? Was it Mar Mark Hamill? It was, was lit. Yeah, it was literally Mark Hamill, and yeah, his so voice just Mark got completely overruled by. Uh, and then you couldn't by, even recognize by, him because his effect. voice was like po post processed, which is like. You know, oh, it was completely post processed away. <laughs> not cool. So. I think it was a bit sad that you you couldn't really hear it, it was even him because I didn't realize until I was informed later on. Yeah. I mean, so, so I would say like regular dragons like Glide or other NPCs, um, they won't really have any kind of processing riders going on. But the big dragons, they will. But you know, there will be some big big dragons in the game as well. But you'll have to wait. Uh, until the full, yeah, full game. <laughs> there it is again. People in the chat uh, suggesting Gly should have a GF. <laughs> I mean, maybe you will know, see what happens. There's so many dragons <laughs> in the world, and Gly needs uh, quite quite a lot of uh, female dragons as well. So, all right, let's do something cool now, and then after this, we're gonna jump into the arenas. Voice of Wing is Luke the Fox. Mm, and the voice of Glide is Landy. Dragon fruit. Which they're both on the server, on the Discord server as well. You can uh, find them on the Discord server as well. Alright, let's do the Come Ice on, Ultimate. On. It's time to get chill. Okay, he, he survived. <laughs> but look at this. So the whole level now is literally changed. Oh man, it's, it's so cool. Just especially with the, because I think it's dusk at this point, right? Like, the what? It, 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 it seems like it's a little bit uh, dark, or well, now it gets bright, huh? Oh yeah, because it was dark because that was a snowstorm, yeah. but now the snowstorm ended and the right the, the the clouds covered yeah, the, 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 cloud sun. Covered <laughs> the sun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and this happens again. Uh, yeah, so it's actually so cool. quite cool. <laughs> I've got this, which I'll show you in a second as well. So yeah, just gonna drop some some uh, links in the chat. So mm -hmm. there we go. And then, if you have have a look, the snow actually melts. Which is nice, but the floor and stuff and the stuff, the ground is actually getting wet now because it's all snow melts away. And there we go. And the whole level is back to normal. I mean it's almost like it was raining because we got the water on the ground. So. I think this is one of the <laughs> of the very specific features we have that's like mm -hmm. not nothing has ever ever been done like this. I've never yeah. seen it in a I'm game where you can change the weather. I'm just gonna some crystal like element that. now because crystal is just amazing. It's so okay. <laughs> Yeah, I somehow annihilated those guys now. But yeah, look at this. This is the new. Oh, by the way, if those who've seen the older streams and stuff will notice that Glide looks different in crystal form now. That's because we reworked his uh, his skin and we reworked textures and everything. So his wings are different. and He looks a lot better now. I think. There, there we and go. It's raining thanks, now. <laughs> uh, thanks TNT for the link. 
for some reason it didn't. Uh, oh yeah, join didn't the Discord. Discord is fun. <laughs> cool. So I think that's gonna be it for the demo level. So what are we gonna do now? Uh, at the start of the stream, someone asked if the crystal has a super or not yet. Uh, right, yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It does. I can show you in a second. Mm, let me just go into the training room. Aiden, uh, Aiden Lek is asking if can you please use the crystal super? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Wanna see it now? Here it goes. Dream delay. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, there it is. There nice, it is. nice, nice. Looks really good. And uh, will, diff will there be a different stage in worlds in the future? Yes, because the world is huge and there will be many different biomes and many different places. We got eight different regions, so there will be eight different elemental regions that you can actually explore in the game. And here's a bit of a, here's a look at some of the NPCs that we have. So all of these are custom dragons, which uh, legendary Griffin is actually working on rigging another batch of them as well. So they're almost ready. Griffin is, is awesome. Yeah, she's <laughs> actually like seshing out so many dragons every weekend. This crazy. <laughs> she she's she's making an army. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna see if I can complete the arenas. Uh, so now I will try to not hold myself back and i'll just try to survive because uh, yeah i won't be able to enter this one actually um so the arenas there is like there will be in the demo as well uh, you'll be able to access them from the training room um and obviously if you manage to complete them all you're gonna be amazing uh, and they are basically like a wave based mode yeah so you, you go into the arena and then the enemies spawn, you have everything unlocked. I th oh, actually you don't. You have an you only have the elements unlocked that you have in the demo, right? Pretty sure that's how it is. It's just I have everything set up now uh, because it's for the stream. Alright, I can see that you've just started the, yes. <laughs> the yeah. first arena here. Uh, yeah, I think this should be easy. Because this is like, uh, this is just to get used. Oh, yes, the first, the nice. first arena is pretty exciting. <laughs> oh yes, havoc in the wild. This one is uh, by, by one H actually. He's the one that composed this, which is also. He yeah. just had this one moment where it's like, this yeah. is gonna be the music for Clyde. <laughs> and then I sat down, and then I just went ham with it. Some some days I just have have some uh, extra energy where I can just do the impossible, feels like. Um, someone's asking, Chibi Goji, he's asking if there's a limit how much you can use magic, or if it does a fusion. Yeah, so you see the, the orange bar below the health? That's called the flame bar, which basically is your mana bar. So as long as you have the mana bar, you can spend it on abilities. And the costs of abilities are shown in the bottom right corner. So under the ability icon you have the number of 40 or 30 or 30 and that's the kind of ability uh, and obviously each bar, each segment of the bar corresponds to 20 so you have 100 points in total and you can spend them on the abilities it regenerates automatically but it also regenerates a lot quicker and it regenerates a lot more of it when you're actually doing the enemies with melee attacks that's why it's important to actually keep the combo going mm -hmm. and use, use your ability and stuff like this and melee attack. Because if you just try to... Well, a spam. Spamming the same... Just, yeah. Try to spam the same move, it's not really gonna work out. No. Because you're gonna run short on the main bar. Oh, you're getting comboed a little bit, I see. <laughs> a bit of a delay, I already get out of that one. <laughs> uh, nice. <laughs> I am in the future. <laughs> You're in the future. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, the, the, the sword man, they, they are quite good. Yeah, double, double swordsman is a little challenging, especially after the AI got its upgrade. So now it, it has it has the charge attack, uh, which I don't think it had the last time we streamed. Oh, yeah, the charge yeah. attack is so, the... so, Someone's saying I'm, I'm hard uh, to be heard because of the music. Let me just turn the music or effects a little yeah. bit. 
Let me know if it's too quiet now, but I brought it down quite a lot, so hopefully it will be better. Let me try hearing uh... my audible now. I think it, I think it's okay. It's still, while, uh, while we wait for response, uh, Chibi is asking what are your favorite elements. Ooh, oh yeah, it's hard. <laughs> I mean for me that it's is really the... hard because it's like they're all my babies. <laughs> I can't pick one. They're all all think, of them. Yeah, the thing is, I I, I have the same exact yeah. feeling because it's you you have one element and it's just if you start mastering it it's, it feels as good as any other almost i mean the thing is like they're very balanced we actually worked quite hard on balancing them and, and making them like even though you have like in fire for example you have a powerful meteor it costs quite a lot and you can dish out a similar amount of damage by spending you know less bar in some other elements for example so it all kind of plays together really well and you know with 60 different abilities you have so many different ways of actually dealing with enemies. All all elements are actually really good. Like they all mm. useful and handy. I probably spend the most time in fire and lightning, but I guess it's purely because they're they're the easiest. In in I think they're they're like they're quite straightforward and they're very easy to yeah. change to and they're quite simple. You always also the first ones that you get, so yeah. they're pretty 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 much glides bread and butter. Yeah, with 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 fire and uh, and lightning, this is something that you're gonna like. You know, this is like, those are the elements that you go to whenever like you want a result and you, you always want it to be a good result, but you know, not something that you, it's not, they're not risky to play, or maybe that's what I mean, yeah? Because some elements, like nature for example, it's, you know, it, it actually, Nature is way, way safer, but it's not as, uh, yeah, it's like doesn't nature, dish out nature as much doesn't, damage. doesn't deal as much damage, but you can also do some really crazy things with nature if you, if you, if you combo right with uh, other abilities and stuff like this. Water, for example, is quite defensive. See, so I got this water shield now, and I can actually uh, absorb an attack of the villain, uh, you know, which, which is sometimes it's a lifesaver. You know, if it's one on one, on one with the enemy, like now, <laughs> water shield might not be as handy but you know yes, but when you're getting surrounded especially, especially if you're getting shot at by a, you can save yeah. your life it's really good against ranged enemies f is really good look at this you can actually parry with her oh. yes <laughs> the, timing. You, the timing needs to be really good though you need to man you need to time it right i think right now my favorite element is earth and that's just because you can parry all you can <laughs> do this you can literally yeah. just erupt a spike from underneath something <laughs> All right, we managed to do the first arena. I'm on the roll, nice. baby. Earth, Earth has become way more versatile after uh, also the Earth drill that we we got. You got like the projectile and uh, the breath in quotation marks. That's like, yeah. <laughs> So yep, you can, yeah, you can, you can parry with Earth. You can parry, and, uh, but it's very time, time specific, so you do this. Yes, you need to be very precise with it. It doesn't cost anything, but you can block everything with it. But you need to time it very well. A good parry system is always a W. Here, yeah. Uh, yeah, you can parry, but yeah, yeah, so I, I've actually shown parry now, yeah. So you got the parry. So you have a dodge. So in Glide, you don't have a block button. You have a parry and you have the dodge, but you don't have a block. That's why you have to dodge around to avoid enemies. But you also, if, you, if you're feeling, uh, you know, if you're feeling freaky, you can actually <laughs> try to parry something. But obviously the parry is like, it's a, it's a good reward if you manage to land it, but it, it will leave you exposed if you actually fail. Because you'll yeah, if you hit. fail, you have a cooldown. And if you're trying to avoid a very powerful ability with parry, if you don't time it right, you know, it can kill yeah, you. you, but if it parries, <laughs> it actually returns portion of the damage to the attacker, which is really good. So you can actually you can, parry. You can, choose, you can choose if you want to jump or like cancel the parry with yeah. a... You can cancel it with a jump uh, or a dash, yeah. or you can just don't do anything and then it counters. Uh, did, did I also oh, show no. you that you can, uh, you can actually uh, affect... The dragon may cry, spiral you can, you may can, cry. You can affect <laughs> uh, tornadoes with uh, different elements. So I got lightning nado now. Now I've got the fire nado. Oh, I can't... Ah, too late. I've, I've run out of the f flame bar, see? Oops. <laughs> yeah. 
No, I'm, 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 I'm blind. Hang on, let me just get this. See, that, that's what happens. A dragon without their magic in the bar is like useless. Oh my. Alright, there we go. Ooh. Oh, that didn't work. There we go, another glitch. Why? <laughs> it always worked. How about other elements? So maybe I did... won't cry, it's the devils. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... So it is quite Goji, Yeah, there we go. Ice works. asks, uh, I saw lightning inflict a stun on an enemy. Can specific elements cause certain status effects? Yes. So water, for example. Well, let's test this on this guy. Water, you can actually stun enemies in a way. You know, they put them in the water bubble for a brief moment. So they can't do anything. Uh, and they obviously ha are affected by the bubble as well. So you can knock them up in the air a bit and stuff like this. Uh, ice actually has One, two, a slow, so it applies a slow status, so you can see under his feet you got the ice kind of symbol. Um, and ice element also applies a debuff. Eventually, after taking enough damage from ice abilities, they get frozen, the enemy gets frozen, and then they explode taking damage. Uh, yeah, while they're frozen, you can still hit them with other attacks to follow yeah. up, so... You, you get a free combo reset. <laughs> exactly. And then you've got so cool. the water element, which is like really cool. You actually have clones. So you can literally use clones of Glide and they will do different things. So they all use different random abilities. So they're quite cheap to use, but you never know what you're gonna get, which is quite kind of like a mystery box, you know. It, it, you're playing, you're playing the lottery, but uh, sometimes it's really, really amazing what you get. And there's a tiny chance because it's a uh, it, spawning a clone is a special move, and it uses the, the clone uses special yeah. moves. That means it could spawn another clone. Yeah. So in theory, you could get a whole army of clones, but uh, yeah. I don't know if, if we will ever see that happen. It can be a cloneception, <laughs> but yeah, I think the chance is quite low because we got like 60 of uh, different abilities, so it always... Yeah, so it's something. like one one out of the 60 and then to get another clone, that's the same. Yeah. Same. So it, maybe, <laughs> maybe in the future we will see like one clip on YouTube where someone gets like 10 clones <laughs> just or lined up. Probably just mod it, <laughs> so, so it's 100%. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I try. I tried putting that just just for a joke, and uh, I think you put it on Twitter. I, you just you just have like mayhem, incarnate just going haywire. Try a different arena now. <laughs> An army of clones. Oh yeah, this, you're this in the second a little bit second more, arena. This one should be a little bit more balanced. So, question from Crossover Worlds, if besides armor do you have any way of getting stronger or do you stay relatively the same throughout the whole game? So in the demo, um, you you become stronger by unlocking different elements because obviously you don't have them from the start. I've unlocked pretty much everything here quite quick because it's for the stream, but you will have to actually find and unlock all those elements in the demo. So that's how you're getting stronger in the demo, where you know, you're know basically becoming stronger and stronger, you're getting more moves in your arsenal, so you'll be able to do more things and deal with uh, different enemies, you know, easier, basically. Um, in the full game, we are planning on potentially having a custom move set. So, for example, you can buy and upgrade different abilities. You'll, you'll be able to swap them, so you'll, you can have... So, for example, I use the Meteor as an example, yeah? So you, oh, have no. model, just... <laughs> you, ha you have the Meteor, yeah? Imagine! Let's say you could upgrade it to Lesser Meteor, which for example, is it deals less damage, but it's, oh, yeah. it's, it has bigger area and it spawns three Meteors, for example. Or... I was, I was you, thinking, uh, yeah, if, if you have like yeah. a spray of, of Meteors, yeah, that would be Like insane. Meteor Shower, yeah? You can, you can change it to Meteor Shower. <laughs> or... What if you have a Giga Chad Meteor, which is like a huge meteor that deals like insane amount of damage, but also hurts yeah. you in, in, in because it, when it drops, you know, so <laughs> yeah, it's like, it just breaks everything. Yeah. It's like you know, so you could have you could have run away from it almost because there's so many different cool abilities that we could do, uh, and you know, obviously it's you we have only have three slots per. Uh, per element, so you know we might be able to do it, so people can just pick out yeah, and make their own. Swap, swap, uh, yeah, swap elemental abilities. Big dragon statue in the background is actually not a statue; he's moving. Just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, spooky! 
Spooky. Now what is this dragon? Oh my god, look, he's hurt. But yeah, so Does the big background dragon have a name or a story to it? Yes. Well, I can't tell you. And they will probably not look <laughs> like this. Mm, because we actually don't have models for this, for this kind of dragon. You know, but I mean, this is just a... So, yes, I mean, it, this dragon has a meaning and it has a story. But how it's represented here is actually not what it's going to be in the not, game. Because we don't have a model. It's not final. It's not final. But yeah, there, as I said, there will be big dragons in the game. There will be like... Yeah, it's quite epic. Glide is going to be quite an epic game if we ever get to make it work. <laughs> Traxa in the chat, Glide, I am your father. <laughs> <laughs> now fight in the arena and prove yourself. <laughs> fight, my son. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Prove <laughs> yourself. <laughs> uh, I, I, might, I might have to start using some different elements. I mean, I guess it's because I'm talking, it's the easiest for me to just use lightning yeah, and so fire. Just, but I, I yeah. might also, I mean, should I. Jeez, Try some yeah. enemies with a bit of crystal in the second. I'm probably yeah. gonna die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might have to heal. And with the the more ranged enemies you have, the more you need to be careful because yeah, they you can really put the pressure on you. Did you see this dodge? Ooh, what I'm gonna do actually? I'll show you how parry actually works in combat against like. Yeah. <laughs> so it so it actually I, I deflect the bolt. Oh, he's charging it. Oh, never mind. I got scared. But if I get hit by the... Okay, I'm not gonna move. Can you get it? There we go, yeah. See, so it actually deflects <laughs> the, the bolt into the actually, into the, the bowman. Or the uh, archer, or as we call them. I know they're not archer because they're the crossbows, but... Crossbow man. Crossbow zombie. Gonna try and catch up on some older questions. Yeah. Well, um, so... From Forgotten Wisdom, how long have you been working on the game at this point? Uh, three years? I mean, so I think Glide, Glide as an idea is, has been around for four years, uh, but the actual work started in about two years ago, and then uh, uh, you joined about two years ago, right? Uh, or was pretty it three sure years? it's three years, yeah, now. Was it something like that? Yeah. So yeah, I, I, I joined. I joined and started doing music uh, yeah. back in August uh, About 2019. Years, so, yeah. so yeah, yeah, we're looking at three years. Um, but it's not like three years of dev time because we are doing this in our free time. So sometimes yeah, so like spare, you know, spare time. Sometimes we could only work on Glide like once a week, or sometimes we could only do like two days. Uh, you know, and sometimes you know we can we were sessioning out like whole day stuff like that. Yeah, just so, working like crazy. I don't know how we would calculate this. Like, if if I was to say how long it took to actually make this, I would. We could probably narrow it down to some, bring it down to a couple months. Uh, I think if we had, if we were to do this free, uh, like full time, and and stuff, this could probably be pulled off in like maybe a year. Probably, yeah. Months. Uh, Something like that. I mean, I mean especially, now, dedicated team. especially yeah. now with our knowledge and stuff, because when we were mm. when we started, we both didn't really know. We were pretty really much noobs. <laughs> we were really, we, yeah, we were quite noobs with our Unreal Engine and stuff, and we were, we were just learning at the same time as we were making this. So the game yeah. also evolved, and it got kind of like we worked multiple times as well. Uh, so yeah, but in general, three years I think is a good good uh, good number. But obviously, it's, it's not a constant day after day work because you know I have uh, family, I have uh, work. Uh, mm. One hand was at uh, uni. I, I don't uh, uni. Like uni. Yeah. Or, uh, oh no, no, you actually graduated. Uh, yeah, well I graduated. Yeah, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking for a job, and it's just so yeah. He was it's just at university been... and stuff like this. And so, so yeah, I, you know, it took us a while, but I think if we have funds and if we, if the game actually, you know, gets funded, if, if, and if we get enough support, I think we could potentially get the full game out in like a lot more time. I think maybe two years or one year. I, I don't know. It depends on the team size and the finances, you know. Yeah. If Sony comes to me and they'll be like, yeah, well, don't worry about the money, just make the game, we'll give you a full team, they'll probably be out of it in like 
easier. But you know, if we have to do it ourselves and I have to find people and, and then pay them and That's stuff like this, it's probably gonna, gonna take, take a while. But at least you know that you know the quality will be there. And we'll probably be update, releasing multiple demos throughout the process as well. Yes, uh, that exactly. So we and might even be... be patching this demo as well and adding some new stuff that people like it, you know. I, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we're patching this because as soon as we get like many people playing it, yeah. there are probably going to be more bugs showing up. Oh, <laughs> they yeah. always are lurking. Uh, now the question is... Time. So, question from Elor Jonasons was, uh, will there be hidden lore in various areas throughout yeah. the demo? And you'll also be able to find out about multiple things. You know, uh, I actually showed this, I don't know if I, I showed... Uh, I... I will show it later, yeah, you, but we got the computer, put, put on. which is like, we've got like a place where you can, uh, so you pick up those tablets that have entries and lore and like different monsters and stuff like this that you can encounter in the world, and you'll actually That's be some able information to, yeah, tablets yeah. and stuff. Yeah. And you'll actually be able to view all the information and stuff like this when you collect it. So there is like a mystery uh, that we have. It's really cool, Just being able to like figure out stuff from uh, from the world without <laughs> yeah, without being spoiled on, on it, because yeah. I think that's, that stuff is going to be on, only reserved for the demo. Yeah, I mean, so in terms of the story, you will find uh, you will find some uh, hints, and you will also have mentions of different things and what's happening in the world. So you will get the general idea of the story and what's happening. Uh, you you will find out, for example, you know why it's only Glide that can be in the elements like this. Uh, and, you know, why all the dragons can't fight and stuff like this, but, uh, you know, more deeper stuff, you'll have to play the game to actually... Yep. Uh, so. Oh, there's a lot of enemies. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, that's why I, I had to use the... Uh, uh, nature ultimate. To use the, uh, so on the topic of the full game, uh, what kind of uh, side quests are you expect to see from crossover worlds as a person the past? Um, what kind of uh, side quests? I mean, we can do everything. We can do like I don't, I don't oh, yeah. want to just do like <laughs> annoying fetch quests because everyone hates those and obviously they're not fun. Mm. Also, escort missions. Oh no. <laughs> I would, I would have. Uh, I would definitely want to have some story-based side missions, like, you know, you meet a character and they have their own story or a mission that they're on, and, and you, you, your, your paths, they cross, and then you help each other, and it's kind of, you know, I want to have some really caring NPCs and stuff like that. So it's like, I mean, I guess, you know... So it's a bit of back and forth a bit. You could compare it to, like, The Witcher, you know, like, Witcher 3, for example, you had really cool quests where, you know, each quest was, like, its own small story. Obviously, Glide is a different kind of game, so it's not gonna be that kind of deep in terms of all the characters. But there will be different characters that will have their own stories. Oh shit, that's this guy. Uh, so, you know... Oh, um, you're uh, yeah, oh, no, you're fighting? A, there's a bit of a delay, I guess, but you know... The, the, you're fighting the... <laughs> the yeah, wolf. okay, yeah. <laughs> e elite Wolf, yeah. That, this oh enemy only God. shows up here. He takes no damage or something. <laughs> it's like... He's so OP. He takes no damage? Almost. I mean, very low. Look, he's so strong. Is he meant to be like this? I barely do oh, it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that's normal. I, I think it's just because the health bar has changed, so it looks like he has way more health than he normally has. But he, yeah, he's tanky. All right. Big boy. Oh my god, what's happening here? <laughs> he still survived! Oh my god. <laughs> he has a lot of health. That was crazy. Oh, but you can loop him with that. Yeah, combos. Seems like it, yeah. Oh yeah, there you go, Three yeah. Ages. Nice. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, I broke his shield. I broke that all shield. I'm using crystal. Yeah, I might have to. Actually, I need to avoid this. So yeah, giving them burn is pretty good because they still take damage when they're shielded. Even if, uh, if, if they're oh, burning. Good, good, good. Oh. 
Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, you guys are dead. <laughs> oh my god, that was crazy. <laughs> so for just watching, th those enemies can only be hit while they're in mid-air because they regenerate their shield when they land. Yeah, mm. you, you can like, also shoot them. You can this, shoot them with stuff, but this uh, is like the aerial type of the uh, enemy that you need to, you know, you need to combo them in the air basically to kill them. They're not hard to kill when they are actually without their shield. But as soon as they touch the ground, they regain the shield. Uh, yep. So you know, it's like you yeah, break the shield, you put up some damage on them, and then uh, either you finish them off in one combo or you uh, do it in few rounds. Okay. We only got 42 people watching, or is my thing wrong? Well, uh, 43. I guess those people will miss out on something really cool, which we'll show in a second. <laughs> oh yeah. Because we got a little surprise for everyone, but uh, let's uh, let's still wait with it a little bit, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> after I die, you know, if I, if I, if I, if I, I, I do it... think I do think you can beat this one. So, as long as you remember to go nature before so your health goes down. I guess if you want down. to see something cool and if you want to have something uh, look forward to, the, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, in the stay, stay tuned. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you need to wa keep watching because I think this is gonna be something that might. Uh, it'll prob yeah, it's something that probably everyone will want anyway. Uh, but you know, it's like it will be up to you guys if that's. Something that's gonna be added to the game, basically. So I, I can say this one. I'll see if I can. Mm. Is this heal still? I can't remember the ultimate of nature heal. Uh, no. Yeah. Nature ultimate like, doesn't heal. Uh, it, it makes enemies bounce for around for a while, so you have time to, to heal got while three they ways bounce. Three left. Three ways left. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So time to parry. believe. I believe. Oh my yeah, God! Question you guys from. Are Oh you're, oh, you're fighting the golems? Oh, shoot. <laughs> String delay. Uh, Distance Wave was asking if there will be some sort of skill tree system where you can spend the crystals that you collect. In the full game, possibly, as I said. And this might be something that will link up with the um, custom uh, ability, like move sets, you know? Uh, so this might be that you'll be unlocking slots and uh, different ability. So you can either, you know, or, or unlock upgrades and stuff like this, and then you can customize your kit. Uh, it all depends. This is something that I'm, I think, would work out quite well for Glide. Mm, but it also will depend how all the elements and stuff will be unlocked in the full game. Because mm, the original idea was that you will unlock the abilities throughout the game. But then obviously, if the game is gonna be like 30 hours or so, you know, and you're gonna be stuck with like four elements only for 15 hours, you know, it might not necessarily be fun because it's really fun to actually have all the elements unlocked. So what we might have to do is unlock the elements earlier, so you know, just have Glide to start with like base four uh, or something, and then you know you unlock the rest through the game. But you also to keep it interesting, you then uh, upgrade, upgrade your uh, existing elements and stuff like this. So it's always there's always something new. There's always something to look forward to. So it's quite mm. hard that you know it's gonna actually. Um, how you know, it's going to be gonna work out. set up in the, in the full oh, game yeah, is still it's a bit nice. of a mystery. Yeah. Ooh, On the topic, actually, there nice. was an earlier question from Chibi Kaji about how extensive do you want the customization for both elements and armor to be? Armor? Uh, so there will be three... Uh, so, so the armor sets, there will be quite a lot. I want to have as many as possible. We'll see, obviously, what budget allows and to do and stuff like this um, so in terms of customization the the armor sets they will have their stats and bonuses so there might be some element specific stats so for example if you like to ma mainly use fire there might be an armor that boosts only fire for example yeah uh, but let's say you don't like how the fire element looks uh, how the, uh, the armor looks but you want the bonuses so you will be able to actually change the look. So it's kind of like transmog system from World of Warcraft, where you can actually keep the you can keep uh, the stats, but you actually change the look of the item that you like. So I'm also want to be able to customize. <laughs> yeah, finally the elite golem now for some reason. <laughs> it's also just in the in the chat next the phoenix. How easy will it be to cure areas of the corrupted uh, corrupted? Uh, of eel dragons, and then uh, Forgotten Wisdom responded. Uh, well, it depends on if they if they have health insurance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One. 
in Glide. Glide is their hell of insurance. If he doesn't save yes. them, yeah. more more like uh, more like Glide insurance. I'll see if I can parry this guy a little bit. Parry. Oh yeah. Parry. Show show show, show us uh, your fighting game skills. Oh my god. Oh, I parried the orb. Oh nice. So you can parry all this. Let's go. Oh my god. Yeah. Evil moment, uh, 30 ever, 30, 37, 37? Yeah, evil moment. <laughs> Alright, I need to kill this guy. <laughs> oh, the parries, so sick. So an earlier question that I'm sure you've been asked many times before. Yeah. Uh, from Eloria Sons, how did you come up with the name for Glide? Uh, well, I mean, what, the, what does a dragon do if they can't fly? They glide. <laughs> <That's that. laughs> and I just changed yes. the letter. I just changed the I to Y. So yeah, I was like, so what if you have a dragon and he can't fly? What is he gonna do? He's obviously gonna glide. Like so he's so he's gonna glide. Gonna glide. Uh, should I just automate this boy? Uh, yeah. Oh, is he like fire element or something, or is it just? Uh, no, he doesn't have resi oh, he okay. he only has resistances to debuffs. Oh, right. yeah, he just has a lot of health. Yeah, he's almost almost, almost a boss. And that's the wave sixteen. I thought that's the last wave. Oh my god! <laughs> no, 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 no! <laughs> it so gets better from, and better. Uh, from Elizabeth, Dragon Knight. Since you have the day-night cycle, will certain enemies only appear at one time of the day? Uh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Potentially, I mean, I don't think we got that in the demo yet, but yeah, this is something oh, I really cool. love, like in Elden Ring, for example, where you can visit a certain area. Ooh, your health is so low. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. <laughs> oh, you, you. What I, happened? Uh, we will see. I mean, there's a bit of a delay, I guess, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh as my soon as God. he said my yeah. health is low, I go, low. I just got <laughs> lasered from behind. <laughs> oh, Rip. Yeah, you also you had two fiery doggos yeah. on your tail. All right, so <laughs> I guess time yeah. for the surprise. But before, let me just quickly go to the toilet really quick. One minute, I'll be back in a sec. Okay. Yeah. yeah. One H, do you want to answer questions? Sure. Uh, Let me hear what is so we we have some technical ones so like from Eric uh, he I guess uh, with that uh, is there going to be a tuning of the gamma in the game because the dark the, the night is looking dark. Um, I think we will have some form of yeah yeah Velifor mentioned that uh, we will have uh, gamma so you can increase the brightness. Okay. Uh... From Iden Lek, uh, when you got in the water and the fire type would go out and this obsidian would form, uh, would it regenerate over time and like slowly flare up, or do you need to just change back into the fire manually? Mm, that's a good question. I think uh, right now it's obviously that you you need to press the the, the fire element button one more time, but uh, I think it would make some kind of sense at least if it goes back over time. Uh, I think, yeah, that's a question for Velifor. <laughs> All right, we'll ask again. Uh, from Elizabeth Dragon Knight, will there be different difficulties in the game? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, also for uh, <laughs> yeah, also for Velifor, because uh, we, we talked about it, and uh, it's something that he... he I mean, he, he's I'm talked about it being a yeah, potential yeah. thing, but uh, yeah, <laughs> Vel... Mm. You back? Oh, okay, I'm back. I just had a got a very, very nice question. question. Let's see. Yeah, what's the question? So we talked about difficulties some time ago, and uh, well, it's it's the probable thing, maybe. But uh... possibly. I mean, I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see the feedback yeah. uh, from the demo because. Uh, what I like about Glide and what I feel is uh, is that uh, it's actually quite good in terms of difficulty settings and stuff like this. I mean, the difficulty is you. Like, if you are better at the game, you're going to do better. You just have to learn. Because initially, when we had people uh, playtesting the game and stuff like this, and like some Patreons, 
Um, yeah. You know, some of them struggled uh, first few times, like, for example, doing the lightning trial. But then after they got better and they got the hang of controls, they actually did really well. And then they kept going throughout the game. And, and I think it's just, you know, I don't think that the Glide is a difficult game. Mm, I think it's more like, you know, you spend some time yeah, to learn. You the, actually, you're going to yeah. find out that actually a lot of enemies, they're very easy and you can mo kill most of them with just melee attacks. You don't even need special abilities, but you just need yeah, to that's, play. That's true, yeah. you, you know, you just need to play a bit safer maybe, or actually you need to play a little bit more aggressive. You know, we kind of... Uh, I think to... ad ad adaptation is kind of like at the heart of this, I feel. Yeah. So, it's yeah, if, if you... If you experience that the game is really hard, it's it might be that if you change up maybe the element that you're using most often, if you maybe go say lightning element or ice for that for that sake, could be um, yeah. that you you find that oh your your new strategy just works way better. So it's very much down to I think the gameplay style that you you go with. Yeah. Um, All right. Cool. It also gets incre it gets increasingly more difficult as you play, of course, as uh, yeah. you have more challenging foes and challenges. Yeah. So, so let me yeah. just do something quickly. I'm just gonna set up. Right, we're doing the the, the, thing. The, the thing. Doing the thing. We're doing something really cool, uh, which is actually like surprise. <laughs> it's actually surprisingly good. Uh, <laughs> I mean, obviously, this is. I'll explain in a second. But you know, I made it. I made it work this like today. Yeah, yeah. So, so literally, like, it's just, yeah. It's literally been implemented. Like, one H managed to kind of do it uh, this morning. Yeah. So you know, like, two, I, two, two hours or something. So, so, so I kind of, I kind of struggled on that arena battle, right? I couldn't really do do it myself because I died. Because I don't know if I'm bad or is the arena just hard. But like, what if I got some help? <laughs> so what if? You could have a friend, and you could both actually play around, uh, and you could actually ru run around and stuff like this. What if you have the actual co-op, or you know, hello YouTube, better, or if you, or even if you had the online, uh, you know, <laughs> gameplay, and we can both actually tag team this guy, <laughs> we can literally annihilate this enemy. <laughs> Let's get him. <laughs> we can destroy the zombie. Boom! We it's can time for Twitter combos. We can literally run around. Let's go and explore. So we can yeah. actually... Obviously you have some graphical glitches and stuff like this, yeah? Yeah, it's a bit weird. The sky is kind of yeah, messed up Yeah, like you can screen. see the sky, the fog is a bit disappearing. Like, you know, this is obviously something that we can, all fi we can fix. But look at this. There's one H flying over there and I'm <laughs> flying here. Neo. And like... Just imagine the possibilities and imagine what we can do. Like, if, for example, Glide is successful, why why couldn't we make, uh, like, you know, a social kind of um, MMO kind of game, you know? Like, imagine being in the world of Glide and you just glide around with your friends, you're flying around, you explore, you visit places, you fight some enemies, uh, you know, like an actual kind of dragon co-op. Uh, you know, it wouldn't be like, I guess, 200 players in the one session. We could have maybe 50 or 60 people, like some other games are doing that are quite, you know, <laughs> <laughs> uh, not good, I guess. But, you know, everything is possible. We can also have... <laughs> Should we do this now or later? <laughs> oh, yeah, we can do it now. So look at this. So I just... I've just hit oh, him. Oh, 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 we're doing that. We're oh, doing oh, that, oh. yeah. We, let's, <laughs> let's fight. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. So you can actually have PvP. You can actually... F I, I will cheat oh. now because... Oh, no, <laughs> that's cheating. <laughs> One what are you doing? He can't actually do the ultimates, only I can do them. <laughs> but, I, but I ran away. I ran but away he ran away. Time. Look at this. <laughs> Oi, uh, actually, uh, let me parry you. Or, uh, I mean, treat, treat, uh, you can maybe try to parry me. Sure, 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 sure. The only thing at the moment is the lock-on actually doesn't work, so it's super hard to aim. One, two, three. But look, you can... Uh, yeah, oh. there's also some, some delay. Oh, you got him. this. Yeah, you got him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we, we can actually have, you know, player versus player combat. We could have some objective-based maps and modes that. where you are playing against your friends and you're collecting points and you fight each other at the same time. Uh, you know, there's so many ways we could ex expand glide. Oh, we could oh make I'm, this gonna, game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm oh, gonna destroy no. you. Just is it gonna think. actually? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Is it gonna work on me? Oh. 
<laughs> oh, you're parrying this. <laughs> yes, I'm parrying. Oh, oh my yeah. god, what happened? I just got... It's because of the parry mechanic. Yeah. Huh? Oh no. Yeah. So, so, you know, there's so many things that we could do. We could have it multiplayer and it's like... It was easier than we expected to actually implement this. Obviously, there are issues and bugs and the cameras are a little, a little bit... They quite far down, far out, and stuff like this, and the lock on. I mean, lock. It's super hard without lock on to actually hit another player. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's a difficult part. But you know, like we could always make it work and spend some time on it if that's something. <laughs> if that's something. <laughs> oh my god! So you literally you block. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Oh no. this. <laughs> I, br I actually destroyed it. You, well, you broke it. I oh my god. Know I can do it. But anyway, let's see. Will the arena actually. So maybe we can do some co op you arena. You need to despawn me. De I'll despawn de you and I'll yeah. spawn you back on. Uh, wait, do that after entering the arena. Oh. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. yeah, there you go. There yeah, you, you need go. to do it. You, need to re you can't respawn me. I think that, yeah, that's, that's oh, why I crashed. Okay. We got a fatal error crash. So, <laughs> let me just. Uh... Yeah. I just need to turn on glide again. Also, you can't really stun luck because you either you run out of meter or uh, uh, there, you have like a special move where uh, you, you can push enemies away. Yeah, so we got different... Uh, Wing help. <laughs> there we go. So I'll spawn you inside the arena. Yeah, so you can't you can't uh, remove me and respawn. That crashes the game unless it's in a different map. Oh, okay, okay. All right, let's let's do this. Let's do the co-op arena. So we'll do the co-op arena now. We'll do the gonna hard one. We'll see if uh, if we actually gonna survive. <laughs> I'm on the left, right. by the way. I'm on the right. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna help you with some crystals here. What, yeah. What I really like <laughs> that you can actually, you know, you, you can, can do elemental interactions and together, you, and you're not tied to the to your own like area or something. You can literally just free roam. You can, you can literally just do everything like as a second player. Dude. The only thing that I also want to do is I want to try. We we never done this actually because we we actually, we didn't really have time to test this because it was just added uh, literally like an hour before the stream. But uh, I will see if we can uh, do this in the demo level. If we can actually run around. The only thing I worry oh, about yeah. is, that my, is, is that my computer will like really <laughs> burn because it'll explode. I turn think, into a I think it renders atomic the, bomb. I think it renders the game twice when you have two players. So yeah, bit, so uh, it's, it's gonna be more demanding on, on that front. But, you know, imagine this, like, you can have those co-op arenas with your friends. So you have someone over, get the you second can play controller, glide together. and you can yeah. glide together, literally. You <laughs> can glide together. Glide Whee. together. Yeah, it's so cool. Glide three. It actually so works glide. better than expected as well. I thought it would be a lot. The enemies also attack the second player in case yeah. people are wondering. They do attack me. <laughs> if this was, if this is real, <laughs> it is real. We are literally playing it now. <laughs> we are literally. Play I'm uh, I'm connected uh, via Parsec, yeah. so uh, I'm it's remotely connected, connected yeah. to developer's PC, and I'm just wrecking enemies here. Had quite a lot of practice with these arenas. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, I was struggling alone, but together it's like... It's definitely possible. <laughs> oh, uh, I got him stunned. I'm just gonna... We, no, there's no online multiplayer at the same plan. I mean, we I could do it in the future, but like, it's probably not gonna happen in the demo. Unless it's like... Because then everything would have to be reworked, I think. Because we, we would have to make sure that replication for every player is... Is work yeah. all the abilities, the movement and stuff. Having it all the same machine is different than having it in line because you have lag, you have uh, you know the, 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 the input, the delay, you have um, everything. You got you know you got a one world but with two different players, and, like separate entities connected, and it's like it works differently. I don't know why, but it's like I haven't really looked much into uh, into online, but yeah, there's there there is a lot. It's very, it's very complicated just to get it yeah. to work properly. So we might do the co-op uh, 
uh, first, and then obviously in the future, like if we have enough budget and if we have people who are able to actually do it, like if we want, uh, or if we can learn how to do it, then we can do it. But uh, mm. yeah, you have any? Uh, oh, there's this big guy here. Got the parry. <laughs> the parry on uh, this guy's big flail. Again. Let's go! Yeah. But, the cool, but the cool idea is that, you know, it would be nice to have glide where you can just drop in and out, come, catch cop, you don't have to wait or anything. You literally just press a button and second yeah. player spawns. And you can just run around together. It's just like, you know, it's really, really nice. It's and super we fun. Have, we could also have alternative schools for the second glide, so it's a bit easier to tell them apart. But I've actually... At the same time, you do have different yeah, elemental forms. We, we, we yeah, actually yeah. rarely both in the same element. So, I'm you switching know, all the time. You know, you know who you are, I know who I am, and it's like... You know, I don't really need to, you to be a different color, because I know that I am... I'm just focused on my screen. Pretty much. It's very difficult to get lost, I feel. We have a swordsman and a stalker, but the stalker is gone. <laughs> this guy's shield. I mean, unless, unless he's, uh... Oh, my armor color is on this stuff. It might be easy to have a look, second player. Yeah. Look, oh the color... Look, the armor it, is RPG. <laughs> It, it, yeah, oh, it depends on what I, what what uh, whoever changes element. Last oh, the armor changes. <laughs> so funny. Gamer armor. Gamer armor. Now I wonder if we could do three or four players. <laughs> <laughs> that would be insane. I don't think my I mean, PC I don't would think... be able to handle this. My PC yeah, is so hot yeah, already. I think that's that's a that's a logistical problem. <laughs> Surprise! The fire ultimate that doesn't actually explode my PC. Great. <laughs> but yeah, crazy! Oh my god, the stream has already been going for two hours as well. Wow. And then I'm looking over on my uh, on my second monitor, and on stream it just looks really good as well. Yeah. So different enemies. Uh, they are. I mean, not all of them, but there are some enemies that are uh, more resistant to certain elements. So for example, the fire mage doesn't really take a lot of damage from fire abilities. Uh, but water on the other hand, you know, it actually breaks his shield quite quick. More. So yeah, just pop the shield very quickly. We are planning on having. Uh, I died. I didn't died? Look. Oh no! I didn't look and I died. Ah uh, damn it! Uh, yeah, you can. Yeah, that's fine. You uh, can just spawn me in here. Would be good. Let's do it. Looking, Come on! I was looking on the chat and then I was like, <laughs> "Don't look at yeah. chat. Look at the game." <laughs> <laughs> We are, we are, we're here to win! <laughs> yeah, we are the winners. <laughs> oh, team combo. Oh yeah, boy. But up, obliterated. So yeah, co-op is the thing that we might actually win. If that's something that you guys like, and if it's something that people would love, uh, you can always learn to play and go up modes and stuff like this where you play uh, with a friend or family you don't have friends <laughs> like me <laughs> <laughs> can, you can invite everyone over to glide with you oh yeah we'll do a glide con we'll have our <laughs> own convention <laughs> oh, glide con yeah 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 oh. I said uh the stalker you destroying that guy. This one. I'm. I'm just gonna play like like uh, do do all my my best stuff here. Have some interesting yeah, setups. Yeah, we might as well just kind of abuse the crystal a bit. Yep. Oh, sure. Just to get this. Oh. We're here to win. I just remembered I, I'm going to work tomorrow. No. Oh, not quite. Life, you got him. You nice. gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. The retail is so fun. <laughs> yeah, retail is uh, so fun. Mm. So a, a question popped up while you were showcasing yep. the co-op. Uh, from Forgotten Wisdom, uh, if different enemies are resistant or weak to different elements. Oh yeah, I think I've answered that one actually. 
about the fire. Maybe. Some so, many, yeah. So yeah, some like of fine. them are, some of them are not. In the full game, we're planning on having more, uh, like elemental kind of uh, weaknesses and strength and stuff like that. Why also, things like, like the, the golems, which uh, like just greater enemies in, in general, they have uh, higher resistance to debuffs. So you can't you can't loop them into uh, into uh, the frozen debuff, for example. Just freeze them in place all the time. Um, yeah, a challenge. <laughs> There's also a whole set of questions from crossover worlds. Uh, so first one is: Will there be devlogs coming sometime in the future? Uh, uh, probably not. Actually, maybe if, for the full game, possibly. I I tried to do some devlogs long long time ago. Uh, when I started on Glide, uh, but they just too time consuming. I would rather do uh, like dev streams like this because then they also get saved and people can be Ow. them if they want. I got uh, completely wrecked by uh, one of the stalkers. Uh, but yeah, so I mean, yeah, it's just because you know it's, it's recording and then I have to edit the video. Uh, you know, just yeah, yeah, I understand go, the go through all the kind of. Recording and captain. So, yeah, it's just it's just too time consuming. Like when I was doing the devlogs, it took me like a day to record footage, to record me talking over it, and I mean, and, and, and it took me about another day uh, to actually put it all together. So it's like two days wasted in a way. Mm. I could have been working on the game in the meantime. So yeah. I'd be better just to so stream I, I, like. I don't think we'll be doing um, many. Deaths, so, but maybe when doing streams, when doing streams, people can also better, you know, ask questions. Yeah, you can also ask questions live, and we can answer them live, and we can also show you things you want to see them like on stream rather than. Uh, use that ultimate, please. Just uh, thank you. <laughs> 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 There's just like so many enemies. So it's just it's like someone do something. Because I can't do ultimates. It only question can number. Uh, can my heal heal you? Uh, no. Oh, you can. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, the yeah, second which, question which was: one? Will there be anything like Dragon Villages where you can talk to a bunch of NPCs to get lore and tips? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think I. I mean, yeah, we shown so there was some uh, NPCs in the demo, but yeah, there will be uh, bigger settlements of uh, dragons where you can actually talk to them and find out how the day, how the day is going, the what's happening in the world. Mm -hmm. And finally, will the big dragon and here on the arena be a boss? I don't know. Everything is possible, but for now we are focusing on the demo, so I don't know. Like mm -hmm. maybe, maybe yes, maybe no. No. I know, it's just, you know, they, they have story and more, but we will have to find out, because it's a bit complicated, it's not like, it's not really uh, much of a, it's not like a certain level where it's like, oh, we are this button, this good. there's more kind of going on with all the kind of characters. Yes, I got the crystal! Got the crystal NATO, let's go, so, let's go, let's go, let's go. It's 15,000 damage, what the? I got 5,000 just from the crystal uh, tornado thing because uh, it also spawns, you know, two more. And if they hit every enemy that's standing close together, that's big damage. Oh. Uh, so there's some questions about the demo release. So first of all, do you from Iden Lek, if you're still planning to release this year? Uh, yeah. So I mean, the idea. So. What we what we gonna do and what we were originally kind of planning on doing is obviously to get the demo out before the end of the year. Um, but we got the majors now. So far, I mean, so far we are on track. Yeah. Uh, I will say that you know everything is uh, going quite well. Um, but you know, obviously there will be Christmas and stuff like this, uh, which I, for example, I will probably have. Some family uh, visiting over, and I won't be able to work during that time of night. Or, or even if I was to release it, or like on Christmas or something, it might, I might not just not be able to do it due to like personal kind of reasons and like family visiting and stuff like this. Um, a lot of people probably don't know, but I also have a baby, like she's nine months old now, and so I also have the uh, responsibility now for the baby. You know, obviously when I started working on life, I didn't have a daughter yet, so now I do. So, uh, you know, everything might change, 
I, I, we are still gonna aim for the end of this year, but in worst case mm. scenario, even if we have to push it back a little bit, I think it's not gonna be later than March next year. I think I will definitely... I would... Personally, I want to get this out ASAP, because... Oh, we got a meteor! We've oh oh been oh working God. on this for so long oh now. And, I, and there's been also so many people waiting for this game a long time as well. <laughs> so we want to deliver the best quality, but we also want to get this out finally, because otherwise we will never probably do it, because we're just adding more things and making it bigger. Uh, so, you know, we will. Ha there will be this point where we have to just say stop and we just have to release the thing. So, yeah, I want to get this done as soon as possible. So we don't have a lot of stuff left. I still want to see if I can optimize the game a bit more. Uh, but yeah, so I mean, in short, TLDR. Yes, hopefully it's gonna be this year, but it might carry over into the first, like, quarter. Mm. Is it a quarter? Like, less than a half, I guess it is, yeah. Um, That's a quarter. It might, it might, it might, it might be like uh, March next year, the latest, I would say. But that would be like the deadline. Then. And then from Elizabeth Dragon Knight, are there plans for releasing some beta beta after the demo, like further down the line? Like, what what do you plan after oh, the? Oh, so for like a game. Like uh, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I think we will probably be releasing some demo builds. Uh, I mean, obviously it's a single-player game, so I don't know if this is, this, there won't have to be like any kind of, well, single and maybe co-op, you never know, like we play now, but uh, there won't be any kind of like public open beta because it's not an MMO or anything like this, but there will probably be demos where we can maybe showcase, uh, you know, like some things and give people a taste of the full game and how it changed from the demo. That's your health. <laughs> At your health, man. <laughs> yeah, don't want to die again, especially on the 16th. Uh, yeah, yeah, we are on the elite golem here. Elite boy. Uh, I noticed. Oh, he oh, does shit. have a health bar. Uh, oh, he's covering half of my abilities, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so this is one of those things where you're playing co op. Like, still unfinished. Can we get the stun? Oh, no. He got the orb out. I'm pairing the orb. <laughs> I'm pairing the orb. I just try to survive. There we go, it's gone. I Some lightning columns. I can really mess him up with that. It's stunned. This, this is the arena for co op. <laughs> this is really it's the so arena for co op. It's more fun as well, actually. Really? Oh, there we go. Got him. Uh, I think it's this. Yeah, this is where you died, right? You got. We got yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Don't worry, I've got this. Oh. Let me just get this guy here. Um, yeah, nice. Ult nice ultimate. Gonna zap dash. So, uh, 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 thing is there will be cosmetics. Uh, yeah, so I mean, well, yeah. the idea for the cosmetics is obviously nothing will ever be like uh, DLC. So everything, if there will be cosmetics, uh, you will actually be able to unlock them in the game. So, like for some achievements maybe or something like this. I have an idea for different types. So like for example, you could have uh, element based. Skins. Here we go. I think he has one health. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we forgot to change that as well. Oh, yeah, okay, yes. Yeah, so that was a very difficult boss. Very oh, difficult. Yeah, never mind. I just wrecked him. But yeah, so uh, you might you might be able to get uh, element based. Um, <laughs> You might, you might be able to actually get like element based cosmetics so for example you could have i don't know fire element and then you can unlock frost fire so your fire is blue or something you know and you just and then your your nature element you can have autumn or winter element like you know so it will still keep the same abilities but the skin will look differently yeah so they, they, he would be like uh yeah different color and stuff like this um, so they're much really awesome. you know, different, like seasonal, seasonal. Like, it's, uh, it's just so cool to see like someone else like gliding in front of me. It's like we can just run around and explore and be like, "Hey, boy, let's go." Can we do this one though? Uh, what, before, yeah, Let can we just do like this five, five, five minutes break or something before we do this one? <laughs> I guess on, that, that one is gonna take all my energy. <laughs> that's the compendium. Yeah, so right. have a have a look at this. Uh, and then uh, this is basically right yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So you've got this little bestiary here, so you can actually unlock different entries for different characters. So for example, I collected an entry on the zombie, and I can actually, uh, you have the rotating model, and then you also have some form of description about the character and stuff like this. So you'll like, actually be able to like find out about the world and, and, and the characters and the monsters um, in this, uh, you know, in this kind of bestiary. You'll be able to find all the information. And you'll ha you have this for... Uh, characters as well so you can actually have glide you got the side characters primordials other characters and stuff like this and the, what the primordials are i don't know i can't tell you <laughs> uh but yeah so while while one h is uh, he's probably going to the toilet or something um we can read about glide so glide is a curious young adult dragon who loves flying around exploring and eating dragon fruit flying around didn't age well did it uh, despite hatching from an egg untouched by the elements, he did not share the fate of other dragons without magic, thanks to his determination, physical skills and smart guidance of his spirit wing. Yeah, oh, I, I actually mi uh, misread it, so I kind of messed it up. But yeah, because uh, basically the idea is that other eggs that are not touched by the elements, uh, they kind of just rot away and die. I mean, it's quite dark, but... That's a little bit, little bit of a scoop for story. So if you think the story is gonna be very, oh, I think I broke it. If the story is gonna be lighthearted and everything, uh, it's gonna be good and like quite positive, I guess. But it's not gonna be as easy and lighthearted as Spyro. Uh, I need to restart the game again because I, f yeah, I've accidentally pressed something and it messed up. So let me just quickly... So there was a question earlier uh, regarding the water going into the fire, like fire go fire type yeah. element going into water. Uh, so it was from Iden Leg, and he was asking if once you go out, does it just slowly build back up the fire over time, or do you need to? No, no, it just st it. it stays, and then you just need to reactivate fire again, so to become uh, into a proper fire form again. So we're just gonna wait for. Uh, one age and we'll attempt the final arena hopefully it did save but yeah we'll, we'll attempt this arena once and then i think we'll be wrapping up because yeah we go to this one and we'll be wrapping it up because it's already been two hours and it doesn't feel like it but it was yeah so another question from i don't like uh will the enemies uh, over the map the actual map not the, this arena will mm -hmm. they respawn after you kill them or will they stay dead uh, so, so I think it's if you kill the enemies, so there is two types of enemies that we class them as regular common enemies and, and elite enemies. So like the uh, swordsman and stuff like and mages and stuff like this. If you kill them, they stay dead. But uh, the basic zombies and uh, stuff like this uh, and basic skeletons, like the smaller enemies, if they actually die and then you die, then they respawn. So the, the smaller enemies will respawn, the big ones and the harder ones they won't respawn. Um, yeah, that's that. I mean, the idea for the full game would be so they are constantly respawning near the areas of the corruption. Um, but I don't know if we will be able to do that for the demo because uh, I don't I don't want to redo the corruption again because it's just pain. There's still something I need to try. Oh, actually, for people who haven't seen it in the past, while one H isn't here, let's let's do this. Big boy. Glide is so big and fat now, he can barely move. <laughs> what if I actually do this? Oh no, I don't I don't know if I will be able to reach it. Oh let's go! <laughs> he big Big Dragon. When I said there's gonna be some big dragons, I really meant it. Clyde is a big boy now. And we're back to normal. So yeah, it's gonna be cool. Yeah, I really need to see if I can optimize the demo. Hello, there I am and back and I'm back. ready to wreck some some people. <laughs> okay, let me just get you back into the game. There we go. Here so, I am. Hello, YouTube. Hello, world. Hello, so internet. Like I, so, like I've said, we're gonna uh, just attempt this arena once, uh, I guess, and then we will probably wrap it up because I have to go and yeah. eat something and stuff like this. So. 
Uh, it took like a little bit of food now, but uh. Right. Oh, I need to respawn it here. There you go. Here you go. Oh. All right. Are you re are you ready? <laughs> because this is gonna be tough. Your screen is super bright for some reason, so I guess you have. To yeah, I'll I'll live. I'll live. As long as I can just see where the enemies are. Yeah, this one is the hardest one. There's so many enemies. <laughs> You're gonna get the most absurd like uh, groups where yeah. <laughs> with like ten and archers. And there's <laughs> twenty one waves as well. So. Yeah. I believe it's gonna go twice as fast now that we yeah. Now that we are two players gonna put some by the way i think you can use my shards if you use crystal pierce yeah and i can use yours <laughs> and also those arenas they'll give you a glimpse into different uh, areas so like this arena for example represents what, what the fire region kind of looks like in the story so they have a lot of this obsidian spikes going on and they also have the obsidian uh, hovering Rocks and stuff like this. There's a, plan a lot of lava as well, and it's red and stuff. And they also have unique weather. They have firestorms. So there's this like tiny meteors falling into the ground every now and then. So uh, yeah, when you explore the <laughs> game, you'll actually be able to. It's gonna be a lot of awesome areas to to kind of view. And then the arena before, obviously, the one with the thunderstorm it was representing the lightning. And the so, uh, obviously, it's not sharp, kind of mountain rocks. Yeah. yeah, I think the arenas, they look really, really cool now. It's uh, just awesome to both view, but also, you know, playing the arenas with those dragon, huge dragons in the background. <laughs> yeah, that one is like... <laughs> But these could also be turned into PvP arenas where you fight with other players. Oh, oh yeah. That would be quite epic. Surprised that this like that this consistently works. Uh, <laughs> so insane. It was a good uh, like I, I think it was like, you know, if it was some it was worth trying. <laughs> It was definitely worth uh, just testing out. <laughs> it's really, really fun. Yeah. It's not, it's not super confusing either. Like the UI just fits. <laughs> I don't know if uh, if, that, if that's what caused some issues and bugs now, like with certain things. But we will, we can always fix it. Like, mm. uh, no problem. Nothing game breaking. No. Except spawning the player again. <laughs> because uh, I, th I think it's Wing that crashes the game. Yeah, because he probably doesn't despawn because he's a separate uh, yeah. entity, basically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah um, any, any more kind of questions? Or... I think we're more all caught up. If we die, we die. That yeah, we die. die. I'm playing super. I'm playing super carefully. <laughs> if you die, the stream dies. Yeah, if we, if we die, the stream dies. Yeah. yeah, I'm playing safe. I'm gonna spam my favorite setups here. Oh my god, that was so good! Like I, I did it like. I did the zap dash and it puts me like vertically, which is quite cool. Oh yeah, yeah, diagonal zap dash is like the coolest thing ever. It can take you up really high. <laughs> I stopped. <laughs> I got hit by an enemy. Oh, so many enemies! Ah! Alright, I think Water it's time. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, I, I used it. Oh no, it's trying to push some of them over to you. Still hits. I Actually, it worked, hit. I think. Are you outside yeah, of the area? Or? It doesn't hit me at least. <laughs> Imagine uh, if it, it killed it. you. <laughs> that would be insane. <laughs> Just killing your teammate. Uh, it hit all of the enemies except like for a few. Nice, got him. And you have full um, HP. Base 6. Right. This. No, this is a, another zombie round, I think. The, a lot of them. I'm just gonna. So, NATO. Crystal NATO. Just if you want ultimate, just shout. 
Yeah, will do. Against zombies is not is not a problem, but when we have like ten archers, we need to wait. Uh, there's two archers and like a billion stalkers. May want it over here actually. Yeah. <laughs> because you're gonna get it back really fast because of the amount of enemies. I think I used the ice one. Uh, that was wind. That was wind. Oh, that that was is wind. amazing. Yeah, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> so many crystals. Wind <laughs> I need to use this on something. Y you can use it as well. Crystal pierce anything. I just use it on the zombie. <laughs> <laughs> on the zombie. You got deleted. Uh, Instantly, uh, completely obliterated. I think people will have so much fun, like, if, especially if they, if, if they were streaming, it's even like, if they're streaming alone or with the models, like, so... Oh, the meter. Oh my god. Yeah, like, so many enemies. Yeah, good, good worry. call. This is how we like, get out of jail card. Yep. Boom. Wow. Uh, so we still got more archers over here. My computer here. is so hot. It's crazy. I hope it doesn't, like, die. I've got the liquid cooler recently though, so... Ooh, yeah, hopefully that should do it. I mean, it's still very hot, so I imagine what it would be foul. Uh oh, yeah, that would be a bit dangerous, maybe. Dangerously hot. Ow. Stupid archer. I got it. There we go. Yeah, it's, nice. it's gone. Uh, heal, heal, heal. Uh, yeah, it didn't heal. Shame. Yeah, we could, it would be nice if we, if we could actually stack heals, for example, so you know... Oh, yeah. You get together, oh. you heal, and you heal for more. Uh, Jesus, oh archers, hello. Okay, uh, ultimate? Very. That's fine. Uh, never mind. I use Wait, yeah, just go I, for I it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're they're all they're all gonna die now. Uh, wait, I'm gonna hit it with a nature ability. Then some health comes back, I think. Yeah, so Ooh, nice. yeah na cool. nature na nature tornadoes spawn health health things. So if you use the wind ultimate and then. Use nature on the many wind, wind war you see. Yeah, you get you get a lot of health back. Massive brain. I'm full health now. Look, it's, they're still coming back. I'm yeah, still getting health. <laughs> My wing is picking them up. Oh, we we also got two wings by the way. Yeah, as yes, we can pick up double. We could have a different wing for a second player, like a different. Like a... Yeah, different color. Mm. And then, and then, wait. Oh my god, this is just wave yeah. 9. I think we're yeah, gonna take... obliterated soon. It's like... Just remember to uh, use uh, Oceanic Shield and heal. Water ultimate. Yeah. Let's see Good how that goes. I think maybe still try using wind just for the uh, tornadoes. Because uh, yeah. you can get some health back. It actually stopped. Water is yeah, water is really good because yeah. yeah, they get slowed like crazy. That's so also many really bubbles. good. Heal, 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 heal. <laughs> That's all I'm like. Yeah, my multiplayer mode. Hi. Hello. Yep. So we. This is like literally something that we added like an hour before the stream. Yeah. Oh, we got a we got a mage. Oh, we got a mage. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Uh, I need to use the wind because uh, go for it, go for it, go for it. <laughs> I'm breaking some shields with crystal. And, and naked nature, yeah. But wait. Oh no. Uh, we, <laughs> oh, I we think got we, one. We, we got, got one. one. One, one, yeah. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> um. Uh -oh. We really need. Wait, I can kill with this. I got another ultimate now. Good work. Well, get these guys. Earth. Would it be good? Uh, I think that's mostly raw damage, right? So it's gonna uh, kill, gonna kill all of the, those guys, but uh, not the swordsman. <laughs> oh, no. I'm getting this guy, Hit. guys. Okay, we somehow got out. I'm just gonna summon them. Thing. Yeah, I think the shields are a little bit uh, something that it's like you almost break the shield by doesn't break properly. Mm. Okay, I, I've got I've got four of them on me, three, three of them. Uh, I'm also having three <laughs> over here. Yeah, we fight three. Uh, I think that yeah, they I think one is dead. One, one of you. I got frozen. I'm gonna do this and this. 
Oh yeah, water they can shield, win this water deck. shield, big brain. Yeah, water shield is amazing. Oh my god, the ice blade tail just shreds them, look at this. Oh yes, yeah, oh if you have god. them lined up and stunned, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Ice is actually OP as well. Everything oh. is so good. So good, yeah. Uh, crystal, well, that's not what I wanted to do, but anyway, it killed, so. <laughs> gonna put a crystal uh actually i just thought about it like yeah so uh, we don't have online combo but actually we are playing remotely anyway so like we're, you can do so it you, you can you can do it with the uh, with parsec or steam remote play oh uh, okay steam has it built in so, as well yeah nice. it should it should be built in yeah on steam there we go um, so you know if enough people want it we could work more on it it might um, delay the demo a little bit but we will make it work if you let them live. Oh, they want to do wind, wind, wind ultimate, wind yeah. ultimate, go for it. Make sure to have it. Uh, <laughs> oh, shh. Uh, here we go. Okay. Make sure. Yeah. You just hit one of them. So yeah, there we go. Yeah, <laughs> so many Ooh. orbs. They also, they don't heal me. I've got a second one. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get some health back. I don't think I get health from the orbs, but you do. Okay. That's a I'm, I'm just gonna play. play careful over here. Yeah. All right. There we go. <clears throat> All right. We can do this. We can do this. Come on. Come on, Val. We can do this. Okay. I could do this alone. We can do it together. I'm gonna kill him in one combo. I also got one in one combo. Oh no! He did. Okay. Never mind. No, he's. Is he? No, he, he teleported away with one health. Like, you see. There you go. I just killed him with a uh, swipe. Uh, this guy's dead too. So good. Ow. Yeah, I mean, we could always patch the co op in. That could yeah. be another thing. Like, we can release the mm. demo and then we can say, you know, we're uh, working on the co op now. Oh, that meteor really took my health. Oh, oh god. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, the fire mage, the fire mage really needs to die. <laughs> uh, we got some nature tornado in here. Where's, is the fire mage still alive? Is he dead? He's up there. All right, I'm getting this guy. And um, ah, got him. Oh. There we go. Singularity into sap dash. Can't see how much health he has though. I think he's dead. I think he's already dead, yeah. He's like, he's <laughs> a dead guy, man. <laughs> it's because I can't see the health on them. Harry. Oh, I need some health. Get two heals in. Yes. Who yeah. do we got? Okay. Zombies. <laughs> yeah, I'm also I'm also try harding like crazy here. You just can't sleep on all of these enemies. If you sleep I, I like one second, you die. Uh, I need to kill. More oh my enemies. god, I'm stunned. I did get a crystal Nado. Is this gonna kill? Is this gonna kill? Please kill. Huh? Ow. Uh, and the mage. Wait, fire. it's fire. All right, it still didn't break the shield on this guy. No, I just annihilated them anyway. Ow. Oh wait, the second, the second hit the, got yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, because the first breaks and the shields yeah. and the second. Just... I thought, I thought he was too far away, but I think I broke the shield and then he got hit by the second hit. <laughs> but we need to get these guys out of here. Oh my Fire god, he just have, got yeah. owned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, maybe if we actually uh, oh. try yeah. to, like, you know, if we both hit the same one, that we can just get rid of a quicker. Uh, I'm shooting this fire mage guy over here. I'm out of uh, um, I think I got him. Yeah, no? Oh, he's still alive. I've got the, I've got the fire mage here. Okay, he's dead. He's Wait, he died, to, he died to burn. <laughs> He's dead. I'm 
it's gonna hurt to spike his ass. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Imagine dying. By Man, oh yeah. my god, no. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Watch out. Oh. <laughs> I said watch out, but I got hit by it. <laughs> watch out, um, watch out! <laughs> John Cena. Watch out, watch out, watch out! Yeah. Alright, I think it's time for the <laughs> <boys>. <laughs> And nature... Yeah, I got one. Yeah, so keep beginning to use... Uh, water. Water orb thing is really good, because it just slows enemies. Oh yeah, it just reminded me of water shield. Oh, I'm gonna use. Oh, I made such a nice combo with, uh, with, uh, Got a parry. Uh, I messed it up. Come on, hit me again. There we go. Wait, what? It was a critical parry? You did the the slowdown effect. Was that you? Oh, yeah. that was, uh, oh, I, I got a, I got a critical parry on the on the doggo, <laughs> the, the elite wolf somehow. Oh, oh, this round. Oh no. <laughs> two, two each. Yeah, I think people like. Uh, yeah. Need more stuns. We need more stuns in this. What's your health? Um, oh no. I'm getting. Watch out. What? Yeah, I'm taking the orbs. I'm taking the orbs. I'm parrying. Just run and heal. Oh ah. no, I don't have bars for ultimate! No. I'm trying! Run, 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 Just run, dude. Okay, I heal. I managed to heal. Um, I now. literally had 17 HP. <laughs> I got stun. I got stuns on him. Double stun. I think you're gonna get some meter now. Almost. Almost full. Oh my god. I just can't... Oh, the orb! I got the orb, stun, 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 or I mean parry, 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 oh, parry. I have to do the ultimate. Uh, yeah, uh, wait, it's the crystal one. One of them is dead, the other one is also dead. That one will also be dead with the shards. No, where are the yeah. shards? I think... Uh, right, I'm taking this one. Okay, we're gonna make this work. This, this is gonna work. Uh, just watch your health. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just hoping to get the crit. There we go. I don't know what happened. I, I got a trade with him. <laughs> At almost full health. That, that guy oh, has one health. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> or maybe two. The two health. <laughs> Heal, heal, so you have full health. Oh no, two elite golems? Elite golems, Crystal, one for right? each. Oh, uh, actually, wind is quite OP because you can use this wind and then you can use half crystal nados and then you can just use crystal anyway. Uh, but it's I, I made it so the, the crystals you get and launch are a bit weaker. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's not, it's not as really broken as you think. Yeah. yeah. Against these guys, you just want to get stuns on them, so you can like do a stun lock combo. It's very hard because they're so fast. Uh, there's a lightning column. You can get them with that. You get some free hits then. But watch your health, watch your health. He's uh, chasing you. I'm gonna break that more. I need to use the wind uh, off uh, nature... Wait, I'm coming over. I didn't hit anything? Oh, there we go. No, nice. Alright, so this... Crystal thing... Yeah, this, this, this will be crazy. Like, I wonder how many people will actually complete this arena. Like this one is really hard. I got one of them. I think the, I, the sunglasses cosmetic will be... Yeah, that, that's <laughs> that's gonna be the reward. So if you if you get the sunglasses from this, then you can prove that you're a badass. Yeah. Right. Stun. So, question from the chat from Idol: Like, uh, once you finish the demo, like completely and kill the final boss or whatever it is at the end, will you still be able to explore around? Yes. 
<laughs> or what what it might be is that you will just get uh, yeah like your latest save point will be before the boss so you can load and save and you just oh this is the final round the boss. is this the final yeah. oh shit yeah. oh this no is that's, the, the, oh. that's the broken <laughs> broken boy isn't it yeah well he now he does that like he he doesn't use oh my god uh, he has the blind elementals <laughs> yeah. oh, no. something like that and he just spams it you can combo him if you break the shield. Oh, but it's, it's not too easy though. He's not using light ultimate anymore, does he? Oh, no, he's not oh, using light ultimate. <laughs> Got some insurance with crystal, yeah, crystal missiles. Oh, he's getting destroyed. Yeah, tag team for him is probably. Tag team is really, yeah. <laughs> I think it's also because the blight and the elementals weren't, uh, you know, they couldn't really do anything. Can I get a frozen? Can we get him frozen? It'd be very awesome. Yes, he's frozen. <laughs> oh, lost the combo. Almost did a 100% combo on him. Oh, he spawned a small snapper. <laughs> <laughs> now watch out. It's hard. So we're here. Yeah, we don't have an ultimate to finish the boss. No. Oh, there we go. I got him. I think he's dead. Earth. Boom. But, um, finished the whole idea of the Ancient. Oh! <laughs> nice! So Dude, we, we did it! To do, to do it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! That was awesome. That was cool. <laughs> that was nice. the most awesome thing. Actually doing the, the hardest arena together. That was yeah, the co-op yeah. is like... Yeah, it, it works surprisingly well and it's really cool. Look, you can have your glide friend. Which is nice. But yeah, I just love it, like how you how you can run around and like mm. I can, for example, do this and I can go here and pick up a chest and then he can be can doing go something else somewhere, somewhere else. else. And you just run around and explore. And, uh, you know, you just... <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's this. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Pet that boy. And you can play the music in the area in, in the actual uh, training rooms. So you can play different soundtracks and stuff like this. Yeah. So if you like certain track and you want to uh, actually train your moves here to the to that track, you can actually just set it yeah. up here. And then, then you go and um, wreck this guy. Obliterate this guy. <laughs> yeah. What? What? So wanna can I show you the? Um, let me just. Be quick to reset him so he doesn't have it. okay so fire doesn't reset the uh, ice but i wanted to show you the, um, the hilarious uh, ice combo where you can just yeah. get a guaranteed frozen so it's like yeah and then you can do like a laser beam <laughs> oh yeah you know what they say never cross the beams how about we cross the beam <laughs> Oh yeah, let's do it. All right, three, two, one. <laughs> That's so cool. You can almost do like a Dragon Ball Kamehameha like beam clash. <laughs> so cool. Uh, in terms of the tracks, and uh, we got we. W what we will probably do, we will like, we might release all the kind of music and stuff like this. So we can make playlists maybe on YouTube in the future, but first... Yeah, I can't share we, them yet. We Yeah, we can't really share them yet, because some of them have, like, spoilers in the names and stuff like this. Plus, uh, they will, you know, obviously, they, they because we have three different people composing all the music, I need to reach out to everyone and I need to ask if they're fine with uploading it to YouTube or if they want to upload it themselves and then we make a playlist or something, you know. So it's not, it's not all just up to me. Uh, but there will be, we'll, we'll definitely want to have like maybe an um, official soundtrack released in the future as well, like high quality and stuff like this. Uh, 
But yeah, in the meantime, mm. we'll have to listen to the music in light. Or there is a couple soundtracks on YouTube actually. Uh, but we'll probably upload the rest of them after the demo is out when everyone played it and stuff like this. <laughs> Stone Cleaver is like amazing. I love it. Cool. But yeah, anyway, it's been almost three hours, so I think it might be a good Yeah. I think this might is be a good, good idea to wrap it up here. Uh, thanks everyone. And actually, one more thing, which I will show you. Oh, it's my controller. One more thing, yeah? So I will close Glide, but... I don't know if this is something that you guys will be interested in or not. Um, can you see my screen now? <laughs> or not? Uh, that, that desktop is beautiful. Yeah, I'll, I'll hide all the icons because it's just ugly, yeah? I mean, there we go. <laughs> so, well, I just wanted to show you as well um the fact that i've actually wait no uh, it's inky inky black abyss because uh you know you did a win window oh, capture okay so i'm just gonna uh, ter change it in uh let me just change this screen one there we go so Obviously, I know the game is not out yet or everything or, or, or anything. Can you see the stuff? Can you see it now? Yep, there we go. Yes, yes. So the game dun, dun, dun. Is, obviously the demo is not out yet and stuff like this. But, you know, if you ever wanted to wear something and just represent Glide a little bit, uh, we have I set up a little uh, merch store. Um, I will be adding more products because here you can because we're using spring as a, as a store and they actually have tons of different things that you can uh, you know you can sell you can sell uh, posters you can sell stickers and mugs and t-shirts and hoodies and everything at the moment uh, I've only have those uh, five things up on here because you know I just wanted to get started with this because this is obviously still all in the works um, but you know i i will post some uh, pictures on discord later because i've actually have i obviously before we uh, we can go public with all this i decided to obviously buy it first because you know i needed to check the quality to see if it's good uh you know if it's not like trash basically but i can confirm that actually it's quite well made um so we've got this one here, for example, with the Glide logo. This is probably the most simple one. Uh, there should be more colors available. I don't know why I can only pick those two. Uh, I will look into that a bit later. But basically, uh, you know, we got different t-shirts. We got the wing t-shirt here. So, for, so you, you have, you know, just wing on there if you like it. Uh, and then we obviously get the mug, which is quite cool. Um, Glide and wing t-shirt. That one comes in multiple colors as well. Uh, the other ones will also do. Uh, but here, you know, we've got this beautiful kind of artwork made by uh, Clark, which is she's our concept artist. And we want we got this cool. I've got this T-shirt actually, and it's really cool. I got it in white. Uh, we you got all the you know the shadow on glide and stuff like this. I'll post pictures of of everything up close on Discord. But you can pick your different. You can pick a color. You know, any color you like, and you know it's it's all gonna look good. The print quality is actually surprisingly good i didn't expect it to be that good uh looks nice and it seems very durable i did uh wash it like twice you know i, I try the thing is because this is me my only like kind of t-shirts like this i have i try to not wear them a lot because i don't want to like wear them out but, uh i washed the t-shirt <laughs> and it's still fine um the actual print quality it seems like it's actually etched like it's it's actually like i don't know how they exactly do it but i think it's like pressure printed onto the fabric so it's not like it's not this cheap uh like thing that you just iron on you can actually see that the drawing and stuff is uh, is is quite deep in in the shirt so i think it should last for quite long and obviously you can have all those different sizes and different colors you can even have a pink one if you like uh which is quite <laughs> cute uh and obviously this mug is really awesome the mug is also really good quality i was really pleased with this one um i didn't expect it to be that good like i was hope you know i was thinking oh it would be probably something that they just stick on the mug and then eventually it will just you know break but here you it's actually it's 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 actually in like 
on the mug but you can't even feel the edges of the image so it's like inside like underneath like a protective layer i don't know it's good uh so i bought those things i've, I've got this so awesome i've got yeah. those t-shirts i've got this one this one and i think i got the wing one so i got three t-shirts i haven't got this one because this is although i think i will get that one as well because i'll need one for streams that one has the glide logo in the front and wing at the back which is quite cool as well mm. <laughs> yeah but yeah, so and I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna get myself a glide, glide t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you want to get some glide stuff, uh, you know, you can follow the link in chat, and I will also make it public in a second on Twitter and Discord and stuff like this. Uh, I think I waited for my stuff about a week, but then I don't know if it was, uh, and I'm in the UK. I think it's it came from Europe. Uh, I don't know if they actually have their like um, printing factories in UK or whatever. But I waited about a week. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, it all came. So it's not like a scam or anything. It's like a lot of YouTubers and stuff like this. The people they use this website to make their own custom merch. So I thought we could get something done with Glide. Uh, it's really nice. Yeah, well. if it doesn't if it doesn't take but, that long and it's like but, yeah, super like it's, pretty it's high quality. Good. And yeah, see, it's dishwasher and microwave safe. It's ceramic. It's, it's actually it's a good quality mug. I, I will post pictures uh, in on Discord. Uh, nice. yeah. yeah. So if anyone wants to buy some Glide merch, now you can. And I will be updating this store, and I'll be putting more and more stuff on as the time goes because i usually like to test stuff myself before i associate myself with this so i mean if 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 it's good and i like it then i will put it up uh and then you know that it's good quality mm, i don't know if i will buy everything obviously because i also have to buy those things i don't get any samples free um but you know it's just uh you know it's quite cool i think you know it's a good way to support glide and represent uh it's not something that makes a lot of money though because it's like for each t-shirt sold i think i would get like three dollars or something like this uh obviously the t-shirt here is like twenty dollars uh or pounds for example any because most of it is obviously they have to pay for the shirt for the service to print yeah. the, because but the good thing is they handle everything yeah so they handle all the shipping all the all the customer service stuff uh, you just wear buy it and wear it and you know I get a little bit and what I'm also planning on doing in the future is that we might have some partnerships with different artists so they for example like what is an example here um, you know Clark so crazy yeah she, just she, having others she designed this uh, for the t-shirt and then she will also get like you know half of what I make of this t-shirt so you'll also be supporting the artist as well uh, and the project so that's the the way i'm kind of thinking about doing it uh but yeah i hope you like it and you know if you ever get something make sure to post a picture because uh, you know it's really it's, it's gonna it's, be really cool to actually see you guys wearing this stuff or <laughs> honestly i can't wait to see like uh, if i just go somewhere and people just have a glide t-shirt it's gonna be like what uh, it's so uh, crazy it's like yeah <laughs> it's like it's like uh, you know and it's gonna be cool because I'm going to try to make the designs because that's the, I make those designs. Yeah, I put where, where all the stuff is on the shirt and stuff like this. I'm going to try to make them not cringe, <laughs> you know, because sometimes, you know, you have, <laughs> you have uh, merch from uh, different games and it's like quite cringy, like it wouldn't wear this outside because it's like, but like the wing one, for example, even if you don't want to have a logo slapped on the, on the, on the on, on, you know, in your whole chest, you can have just the wing. No one knows what it means. And it actually looks quite cool, I think. Uh, yeah, it's just, a little bit off center. I think it looks a bit off center due to the tail. I don't know if it's actually off center. I don't think it is. I would have to check on mine. It looks pretty center, but, but yeah, the yeah, tail. Yeah. But you know, I think this looks cool, and it's like you know, uh, yeah. So you know, if you guys want to get something, get something, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll we'll be glad to see you representing Glide because once it goes big one day, you know, then you can be like, oh, I, yeah. I am the alpha. I was the first <laughs> to, to represent Glide. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, and uh, just to, to say on the shipping. Uh, yeah, I was in UK. I had to pay shipping fee from EU. So I had to pay uh, some extra like in euros. Uh, it's funny because... Uh, 
on my website here it shows me in pounds so i think i can pay in pounds but when i was ordering it my samples i had to pay in euros and i also had to pay the shipping fee but i think you are buying um uh, if you're just buying it like a normal kind of customer i think you can just pay in any currency and it will calculate automatically with all the shipping costs and stuff like this uh so yeah that's that so that's our first kind of official merch stuff uh the link is still uh probably gonna be changing because i need to get like a domain and stuff like this but you know so far i mean this is obviously i'm gonna try to improve and make it even better as the time goes. yeah it's, it's it's a start and yeah, it's uh, it's super start, awesome just, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah if you are it's, honestly yes yeah, it's, it's it's super nice yeah. also well, i think i paid different colors uh, hmm. you know what color i will shipping I'll pick. for the states for the mug is like six dollars yeah that's what i had to pay for i think it was like seven euro here uh, or five euro something like that um actually let's check but like i was to pretend i buy this uh delivery calculated at the checkout i'm probably gonna dox myself actually so i'm not gonna show my uh yeah be, be careful with that <laughs> don't uh, don't end up doxing yeah, yourself yeah, yeah. bad I'm, idea yeah uh, i'm a bit of a noob streamer luckily i realized <laughs> but anyway uh yeah so that's that so yeah we're gonna wrap it up here thanks uh, a lot thanks for coming. everyone for, thank yeah, you one h for along. being here and also thank you tnt for be being very patient and uh, watching uh, the chat and uh, grabbing all the questions and stuff a lot stuff like this uh, yeah i think, nice I think we made out guys. a pretty good team uh, <laughs> is do you think this is a nice background i'll show you a nice background i mean i use wallpaper engine normally look at this look at those icons i'll show you this before we end <laughs> my all right look this is my desktop normally see this is what i have to deal with because i can't be bothered to save it, stuff in folders uh it doesn't show i think if you no, know the icon yeah, yeah. There, yeah it's a, a bit of a delay i guess oh, there it is yeah <laughs> yeah so yeah this is my desktop and i usually drop drag and drop everything into download so this is like my second bin uh but yeah i just can't be bothered i got so much like glide stuff on the desktop. <laughs> just, yeah but then I just, I just, people in the chat are just gonna be like what well, yeah. i use this cool program called fences and i just double click the screen and it just hides everything so that's quite good that's that's really really and cool yeah, maybe i, I should also amogus. get that <laughs> amogus <laughs> Uh, yeah, but I place it uh, right next to Glide, so Glide is very sus. I don't think uh, my um, sus is ammo. will show because I think my Steam is playing. That. Make a Glide background out of your icons, says it tracks that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wallpaper engine. I use yeah. I can't even remember what my wallpaper engine and um, wallpaper actually is because. Uh, I haven't used it for a while because it crashes for some reason. Like every now and then it just logs out. So I'm just closing it. But I don't think it's going to show. Oh, well. Oh, well. actually, funny thing. I don't have any tabs open in my browsers. I always keep my tabs to one or two. I always have something like Twitter and uh, YouTube. Bro, on, what? I never have. Like, <laughs> I literally, I literally so never. Your, your desktop is like that. Like yeah. it's insane. I, but then you're actually a normal person when yeah. using the browser. I literally like when using a browser, I, I, I like, I never had like 10 tabs in my life. I think literally like I always just get rid of stuff. Um, but yeah, yeah. See wallpaper. Engine. I did not expect that though. Wallpaper engine <laughs> is dog shit. Doesn't want to work library uh, where is the wallpaper engine i know why oh, oh. It has disappeared ah there we go boom launch i don't know what hmm. all this gray stuff is i don't have any of those games and they show up on my steam i don't know if i can turn it off or not Come on, wallpaper engine. I want to see my current wallpapers. I used to have Aurelian Soul from um, League of Legends, but I've changed it now. But yeah, the wallpaper. Oh yeah, I remember seeing that. It looks it looks super clean. Uh... It really goes to show that you really like dragons. Oh yeah, I do. Yeah. Big boy galactic dragons <laughs> like. 
I actually don't know uh, I don't much know. about League of Legends. <laughs> I mean, that was the one. That one. Uh, there's a delay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. And that is a really, really nice design. The armor and everything. This yeah. is like, uh, this is kind of the art style that I really would like to have in Glide one day, like all the artwork and stuff like this and designs for characters. Like, but this is like top tier, like it's very expensive. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just cool. League of Legends is amazing. There's also this one here, same dragon, but you know, it's just a. Yeah, boy so awesome with like the electricity going I don't think, around uh, yeah. I don't think they'll be reworking his visuals because he lo actually looks very like amazing it's just the skills that are getting reworked for Aurelion so yeah uh, cool yeah maybe we should uh, yeah should round it off yeah. this time around yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> we have a habit of always going like I mean, it's, hey it's there's almost, also this uh, uh, okay we got we got we got Two and a half minutes, we're gonna make it full three hours and then we're gonna go. Because, you know, but yeah. I, I can also show off. Oh, maybe. Oh, I yeah, yeah. It's, you still got 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Well, Until the, the I... first six minutes were like testing and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, but yeah. Look, oh. Look, look, I can show you. Uh, I, I will show off my rank in League of Legends. <laughs> Do, do you have a glide wallpaper to show off? Uh, actually, not. <laughs> I don't have glide wallpaper. <laughs> no? I mean, I bro, have, I bro, have you, you, took, you took screenshots. I have all the screenshots, but I don't have uh, a wallpaper. I don't have a wallpaper. I just have this. I um, but look at this. If any of you play League of Legends, look at this. I'm actually Diamond 2. I'm really happy with it. And I'm casted in main, and I got 1.4 million points on him, which is like you have to play for quite a long time to actually uh, get this much mastery points. So this is like one of my biggest successes in my life, and my daughter will inherit this account one day. <laughs> so continue yeah. the, your legacy. <laughs> she will continue my legacy, and she will be top one in the world one day. <laughs> whilst least. developing games because she'll probably also be a game there <laughs> <laughs> who knows Shifu Drax Yogmao I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right but is asking you to for the end do a sales pitch practice with one line to describe why play Glide <laughs> uh, why play Glide you might ask yourself the answer is why not play Glide that's my answer. Like, that's that's my pitch. It's like why why not? Why wouldn't you play glide? Like if you could play glide and not play glide, why wouldn't you play glide? It looks cool. <laughs> it feels cool. It plays cool. There's dragon fruit, and it has dragon fruits. And you can choose what kind of diet you want to be on. You can eat meat or you can go vegan, and you can have dragon fruits only. That's a hundred percent less fat. It's inclusive, and uh, everyone can play. Oh, I mean, the, the, to be honest, the main thing about Glide and my main sales pitch would be, it's free. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, have, you have a free no, demo. No. You have a free game that you so. can spend, replay multiple times. You can play for like three hours to complete it or so. It's better than a lot of other games that are on Steam and they're very low quality and you actually have to pay for them sometimes. Why not? Why wouldn't you? Like, even if I wasn't interested in dragons, I would still play Glide probably because I would be like, oh shit, this looks cool and it's free. So yeah, that's the main thing. Oh yeah, there's a good point. Shout outs to all the Patreons for supporting oh, the game. Yeah, and obviously with, without our able, Patreon yeah. boys and the Patreon girls, this wouldn't be possible. Like, this is like a light server. Like, if we didn't have Patreon, we probably would have like four NPCs and that's it. 
but now <laughs> they we have will all like, look the same. We, we have yeah. more than like twenty different NPCs modeled and stuff like this, and and it's just you know it allows me to keep the server like Nitro going on, and I I also pay for the website for hosting. Uh, to, I mm. need to pay for the server where we actually keep Glide, so so One H can also connect and work on it and stuff like this. So it helps yeah. me cover all those costs because before it was all going from my own pocket, but now we have those funds that I can use for those different things and like you know we got so many different like um particles and stuff uh you know that we can use uh thanks to the donations so yeah patreons you're the best and if you're not a patreon now why not join you can literally just <laughs> contribute anything like even one dollar you know it's like be one it's, cent. It's like like everyone says it's less than a cup of coffee but for me, it's like everything, you know, so like, you know, why not even one dollar, you know, one, two dollars, three dollars. If you're a giga chad, you know, you can even donate 50. <laughs> but, you know, I'm not or saying a anything. Or, or a whole million dollars. <laughs> you are still a chad, even if you're supporting. But no, to be honest, even if you're not able to support Patreon or anything, you can still help. Just literally just share Glide around. Let your friends know about it. You know, link them to Discord, Twitter, merch, you know stuff like this uh you can do everything like you just need to believe in yourself <laughs> and on that note i think we're gonna finish this stream goodbye bye bye everyone i love you Mwah.